At Honestly Natural, their focus is to create soaps that not only smell great, but also are safe for the entire family. Their soaps are handcrafted and cut in Colchester, Connecticut. All of their bars are made from 100% all-natural ingredients. They offer a wide variety, from the calming, familiar scents of lavender and eucalyptus to the musky, warm aroma of patchouli, vanilla, and so many more. They currently offer 22 different bars, each being unique, even creating one for the family dog. Also, don't forget to pick up one of their hand-crocheted washcloths as a perfect pair to the soaps, for you and for someone you love. There's nothing like shopping local. We've been using these soaps, and it's a product that we stand by. With a company that is local, 100% all-natural, and unique, you cannot go wrong. Pick your own bar up at www.allhonestlynatural.com to see and smell for yourself. And for a limited time, from November 17th to December 21st, you can receive 10% off your purchase if you put in the code word BSNERDS, all capital letters. BSNERDS, 10% off at www.allhonestlynatural.com. Hold up! Aaron, 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 Aaron. My name is Dave. This is, this is Joe. Is that's, 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 I listened to that podcast yeah. and I was like, I am with him. Oh, that sounds really cool. And then Chris Humphrey's heart fouls and Kevin Garnett keep pushing him straight to the third row. Let's go! Dave, this is, this is Joe. This is the Let's go. Sports. This is the Boston Sports Nerds Podcast, the BS Nerd Show. Joe, you got anything you want to think before you go? No, we have talked a lot. We have talked a lot. Nothing left in the tank. Let's go. Welcome, welcome back to the 51st episode of the Boston Sports Nerds Podcast. My name is Dave. I'm accompanied by my two fellow nerds here, Aaron and Joe. I didn't mean to do that. To my right, I have the host of WECP, Aaron. There he is. And. Happy Hanukkah. Beginning of Hanukkah starts today. Oh, nice. Today is the 12th when we're recording this. Nice. Perfect. And to my left, I have the host of uh, our fantasy football show. Uh, Joe, but Ben is Jewish, so. Nice. Yeah, Yeah. so he's happy about this. So field goal is a... It's a Hebrew name. It's uh, His mother is Jewish. They were talking about this on EEI today. (laughs) If you say, I have a friend that's Jewish... Or I have a Jew friend, is one more offensive than the other? Mm, a Jew friend is kind of. I think of, I would just say my friend's Jewish. My yeah, friend's Jewish. I yeah, would yeah. say that too. Yeah. If he wants to call himself a Jew. A Jew. The thing I've, I've, I've had, heard the argument before like Jew. I mean, it's not. The word Jew is not necessarily offensive unless it's. Like, used. it's contextually of- offensive. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's. Uh, Louis C.K. does a whole bit about that. Where he says he's like, you I know, mean, I don't think I'd want to put myself with him right now. I right. mean, he's kind of in some hot water himself. Nah, at least he wouldn't be wet. So, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding about that. <laughs> so, all right, no one wants to engage. I'm That's not, fine. I'm not touching That's that. fine. Uh, listen, after a game like last night, I need to laugh. I need to feel good. I need some. I need some upbeat music. I need something to bring me out of the trenches. Where's the where's the no way hell? Jose entrance? Yeah, music. when get you, you need get it. You when you get need you it, just oh god, ugly game. Aaron, I'm sure you have a lot to say. No, come on, it was a great know, game. I don't know how much energy I have, so go nuts. Aaron's in full. Pats are awful mode. Yeah, yeah. No, I just it once again. Offensive defensive coordinator don't know how to make halftime adjustments, and your defense. You're I, the big takeaway. You're missing. Kyle uh, Van Noy. That was tough. Like, you're that, watching Roberts try to cover Drake was awful. Yeah, that was a that was straight a up bad. awful. I, uh, I'm i firmly on the Pats are going to win out the rest of the year. Super Bowl favorite. Yeah. Still. Yep. I agree I with that. I didn't even take a dip, I don't think. I hated it. I yeah, hated the, the game. The loss sucks, but. They fucking always lose in Miami. <laughs> yeah, the the numbers, especially for Brady, are yeah. Looking at all time bad, it's pretty bad. All time bad. What and is it? He just has such a good time down there. He just know. goes suntan the whole time he's just, down there. And the thing is, he threw two picks. One was a terrible throw. Yeah. Uh, and the this, other one I thought was a better. The play other by one the was just. It was literally a perfect throw. That guy yeah. played great against Cooks. Did, like yeah. Cooks, there was one time I think Cooks got away, yeah. and it just. 
But I mean, he's got makeup speed. That kid's right. got makeup speed. Their fucking offensive line and defensive lines decimated. Mm-hmm. They have no Gronk. Right. For the game because he's a dumbass. And that's another thing where you go to those splits and you start looking what's Brady without Gronk and Edelman since both of them have been on the team. Yeah. You know, he's been really good without Gronk and Edelman before, like, oh, yeah, throw 50 touchdowns. and You know what I mean? But yeah. since both of them have been who they are, you go back to last year, the year before, anytime both those guys are missing time, it's, you know, like the what's your excuse thing. You know, like what's your excuse? Fine. But when you don't have either of your best players on offense – it, you're you're bound to struggle there. You, you know what I mean. Don't like, complete a pass in the first half to, to a, a wide receiver. receiver. Bad. Dude, you can't. Bad. I don't think they could. It was just the Miami no game. Was open, no, I'm just saying. Man, but like, a lot of people were talking about how like excited they were listen, that Hogan is, was back. Mm, like that mm. doesn't change the fact that he's not in game the, shape. This is yeah, the thing. Yeah, right, right. The thing is, Miami game plan. That this is what happens when you're the fucking Patriots. They go to Miami, where historically they've been known to drop games every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Even against way worse teams, right? They go with to, way better teams too. Yeah, they go to Miami. They're they're way banged up. Miami game plans this game perfectly. They mimic what the Falcons did the first half of the Super Bowl, where they play like that man on the outside, cover one robber, which forces Brady to throw to those outside people. The only problem is fucking Brandon Cooks can't get even an inch of separation from some guy who was a scrub. Like right. two weeks ago. Yeah. Tom Brady and the Patriots are have lost four of their last five games in Miami. The one win they have was last year when Tom Brady was on the revenge tour. And he yeah. played probably his second, third best game there ever where he had three touchdowns, no picks. But he also had 276 yards. He was 75% completion And then percentage. what happened is Miami is up. They are ready to play the moment the kickoff is. It's their fucking Super Bowl. Right. They have yeah, 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 yeah. The Patriots in Miami, they're going all out. It's their Super Bowl. And the Patriots just don't get up for the game. They just don't show up. Yeah. That's why I'm not worried about the Steelers game. Do you think it's a trap game at all? Like, do you think there was some of the oversight? I, yeah, I, this is the other thing. I think Bill Belichick is fucking a liar. I think mm-hmm. he is a liar with this whole we treat every week the yeah. same, we never look ahead, fucking bullshit media nonsense that he feeds people. Because I don't – I think they ran fucking vanilla shit yesterday. They were pretty simple. You know what I mean? I think they didn't want to show the Steelers shit. But I think the personnel also kind of limited you, too. You know what I mean? Especially defensively. Defensively, for sure. I'm sure he didn't preach it in the the locker room, like, hey, we're just paying attention to the Steelers. This is whatever. But why run the fake punt last week? Put it on tape. Yeah, but I mean, isn't that something you'd want? A lot of times, people put they'll they'll run a fake to waste time just to put it on tape. Yeah, just so that other teams have to prepare for it. But what if what if you want you, you could use it in Pittsburgh and they never saw it coming? Isn't putting it on tape the same thing as, no, it as... It just makes Pittsburgh prepare for it. Yeah. But, I mean, isn't it the same thing? Like, to your point that they ran vanilla shit yesterday. Yeah. Because you don't want to show them anything that you might use. Well, what about the fake punt? You could use that. Why show them it? You know what, what about I mean? the onside kick? Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I would have had a problem with it if, like, Goskowski acted like like he was going to kick it. Mm -hmm. If he, like, ran up like he was going to kick it full and then just, like, tapped it with his foot. Yeah. But he, like, just, like, walked up and was like, give it a roll. Right. And Bill says that, he's like, that was going to go 10 yards. That was going to go. And I was like, "Eh, I don't know. That was close. I I think I understand the idea behind it. Like, we'll we'll gently roll it so that it's not bouncing all over the place. And then we'll have our other guys just plow into the other team. Yeah, try to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just have someone else behind get the ball. I don't know. And it was was an ugly game. It was ugly. It was a, uh, unfortunately, it was a pretty prototypical Patriots in Miami game. This is what happens, though, is, is... We've seen this kind of loss to Miami before Mm -hmm. as Patriots fans, people who watch every game. What happens is because it was on Monday night in primetime, everyone's paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. It's like all of a sudden the fucking rest of the NFL is like, oh, Pats are awful. I was like, no, you guys just don't understand the AFC East dynamic. Right, right. Like how, how many very very close games has Pittsburgh had against terrible teams oh Cincinnati the Cleveland they're right they play terrible fun. teams and Every no one is going to say anything about Pittsburgh being bad right you know what I mean they right. barely beat Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers they barely beat the Ravens 32-31 yeah. that game. they, they barely beat point. Indy right, right. they yeah. barely beat the Browns <laughs> right yeah that's true 
and well, that's because they're the best franchise in the league. Yeah, yeah it's true. The Browns. It's- no, the Steelers. Oh, the Steelers can suck a dick. They'll never. I don't. They, I, I'm, I'm just saying that's that's every time mm-hmm. I talk to anybody that's a Steelers fan, yeah. uh, they yeah. just talk Six Super Bowls. It's like the same thing with Yankee fans. Right? How many rings do I have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hope the excuse me. I hope the Pats change of that this I, year, man. That'd be awesome. I uh, I don't. I'm not worried about the Pittsburgh game. I don't think Mike Tomlin will ever out coach Bill Belichick. That's a good point. He never has, and as long as he is super into running that zone defense he loves to run. Mm-hmm. That was the other thing that pissed me off. The Pats insisted on playing man mm-hmm. the whole game. Yeah. And they were when during their stretch where they were playing really good defense, they were playing a lot of zone. So yeah. I don't understand why yeah, they, they, mix, a they mixed, thing they mixed or, it in. I, I, they it seemed like they were playing a lot play. of man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes I think Belichick overthinks himself. Mm-hmm. I also think that it might be a, a test run because I think you're going to need to play a lot of man Maybe. next week. And you had, they have really good wide receivers. You don't you notice know they I mean? struggle. Yeah, you're not going to be able to keep up with that. They struggle against these gadget offenses. Mm-hmm. Like they had Cutler rolling out and they uh-huh. were running those weird like. Yeah, all of a sudden he found out how to run again. And, yeah, and Cutler was engaged, man. He laid like, off he the same weights for a couple he weeks. Knows how, he could run like that because Trey Flowers was out and he wasn't out there to make sure no one was getting around. Well, that's the and other that thing. that kid Lee kept getting sucked into the middle and then mm-hmm. fucking at the, out the edge was wide open. Yeah. Trey just, Flowers being out fucking her. Flowers, Van Noy. I mean, it's just there's so much. Branch going down. Branch, yeah, Branch went down early. I don't think he, he came did, back. He did, did come back. back. Yeah, back. yeah. But they say he might not play next week. That he's he's pretty banged up. Fucking so. Fle- Fle- you got Fleming out there trying to guard. Right. Fucking Cameron Wake. That's fucking Nate Lawrence Timmons is on that side too. I mean, there's just there's you know like, who has been really good though. Fucking Shaq Mason has been really good. He's been amazing. Yeah. He, yeah. he shuts down. He shut down and Dominic and Sue like every time he lined up on him. Yeah, they did a good job. I mean. It's tough to say. I mean, they, Brady was under duress all evening long, but they, it's just, it's just, a, they're, I hate to sound like it, I just don't think they're that good. Like, their offensive line is just really spotty right now with no, with no Marcus Kent. I'm not it's saying the Patriots weird, aren't that they, good. Because they, they looked, and my one buddy was like, their offense hasn't looked good for like four weeks. So it was like two weeks, or three weeks ago, they beat fucking o- Oakland in, right. they beat the shit out of them. Right, right. And, yeah. Or no, that was four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And then they beat, they put 40 up on Denver. Right, right. <laughs> In right. Denver. Yeah, and and their offense looked okay to me last week. Even Against Buffalo. Buffalo. Just Buffalo, Brady, I think Brady Buffalo, didn't throw a touchdown. I just but think Buffalo has a good defense. Yeah. Like, I think Buffalo's right. defense is legit. Yeah. Well, I think this is the first time where they look shaky where they shouldn't have looked shaky. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they are yeah, clearly yeah. playing a worse team, and they just played bad. Well, to that point, I mean, Miami's ranked 14th in pass defense. So they're not that bad. Yeah. But Pittsburgh's ranked 4th, and they're 2nd in sacks. Hmm. That's a, it's going to be second and sacks. Yeah, but the they, thing about Pittsburgh, yards, and they've only given up sixteen touchdowns the whole season. The thing about Pittsburgh, though, Passing. is I'm looking mm-hmm. at I have to look at their defense post Ryan Shazier because that's huge. That's a, yeah, that's yeah. a gigantic. That is you're losing your green dot. Yeah, Ryan Shazier yeah. is their green dot. Mm-hmm. So without if it him, took the Patriots about six weeks to figure it out without Edelman. Yeah, where are the Steelers going to be without and the, Shazier? And then they lose Ryan Shazier. The very next week, they give up thirty something points right. to Baltimore, the Ravens, mm-hmm. right, which who is wildly inept, been well, awful on what, offense. What's funny is they're so, like, if you look at their weapons, they're not a bad team. They just don't know how to play. Baltimore. I'm talking yeah, about right, Baltimore. Right, right, yeah. Preseason, when you looked at that team, were you looking at it and going? This is gonna be the worst offense in the league. No, I didn't think. I didn't think they were gonna be think great. Be the worst offense. But, in the league. No, but they I thought histori- they had halfway decent. They've but. historically struggled pretty often on on offense. I just can't believe that they didn't convert a third down last night. That's wild to me. That's. I mean, to me, that's obviously missing. And the thing is, this is another thing. Like, obviously, people underestimate the impact Gronk has on the game. Mm-hmm. It's like Gronk could have been playing and mm-hmm. only had like three catches for sixty yards. Right, and they could have won the game. But it, he makes such a difference mm-hmm. in the coverage scheme that you run. Right, right. That I mean, it's you, it's the same thing. It's the same thing we talked about with Kansas City, except there is no Gronk to take out. That if that kid was able to cover Brandon Cooks one on one, which yeah. he was, then you have it's the math problem. Like, yeah. So then, what do you do with Danny Amendola? What do you do with Phil Dorsett whenever he's on the field? What do you do with with 
Hogan now that he's back. What was like, the problem? It's just there's so many. The math problem doesn't work if you can't get open. Troy Brown ripped Brandon Cooks after the game. He was like, I like him a lot. I think he's very talented. He is by far the worst route runner from a good receiver I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, he's awful. And, and like, he is, rounds out all of his cuts. That it's always was, ugly. That was the problem with Brandon Cooks when he was in New Orleans. Right. And like I tried to say that to people. Especially when we were having the Edelman versus Brandon Cooks thing, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Brandon Cooks is very fast. Mm-hmm. Like that's everything. Every, in a straight ever says line, about him. in a right, straight yeah, line, he's, he's very, very fast. fast. Yeah. He has a lot of trouble creating separation. Right, right. You know, as a guy, if he for, can for break a guy away, that's that yeah. fast, it's odd that he can't get so much space. Like even the like the second pick, he had him beat. The throw would have landed right in Cooks's hip. Just the defensive player made the run. Now, I wish that ball was a little bit up where Cooks had to reach out for it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, yeah. Could, that could have been two yards further out, I think. and Or a yard further out, whatever. The second pick? The second one. It was pretty much a perfect ball, though. It was good. It, it, it would have hit him. In, Cooks didn't have to slow down. It would have hit him in stride, like right, right over the like, shoulder. Right, right, yeah, right over the shoulder, right. The only thing, and the thing is, when Brady threw it, yeah. the dude was like, Oh, feet behind cooked, cooks. Cooked. Yeah, he was cooked. Yeah, he just made it up. Right. It was just. It was a great play. And the only the other thing I didn't like about that is Cook sees that guy. He didn't fight for. The he ball. doesn't fight for the ball. He just kept I thought. Like I thought the same fucking thing. I was more mad at Cooks than. And obviously, like I said, the, the, I thought the defensive player made a great play. Oh, so, fun Cooks. I'm like, you got. You got to fight for that one, man. Like the first. Right there. The first pass that was a pick. The first yeah. pick. It was a bad throw. Yeah. Did he not blatantly push him off? Uh, it seemed it did seem like there was physical, but Cooks initiated it. Like I got I, I started arguing with the, my buddies when I was I was like, it's a bad pass, but I have no idea. I cannot follow the pass interference rules oh, at that's, all oh, that's, because there that, is not. dude he pushes him right. And I know Cooks might have been like trying yeah, to like, like grabbing her or trying right. to get back, but to to push someone away from a ball right, right. is right. At least call. A double pen, like you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, offsetting penalties, offsetting yeah. penalties. Yeah, you can't put like if Gronk did that on a, oh. on the offense. <laughs> if Cooks, if Cooks runs a, a comeback and pushes the guy, right, it's a it's a pass interference, right? Yeah, but because they're going for a pick, it's not like he can you can push the guy, right? Because your head is turned. So you know how you were saying about all the defensive injuries. Yeah, no one's afraid of the Steelers' offense. We wanted to talk about Baltimore's offense being yeah. showing up against the Steelers' defense, but what about their offense? Yeah, no, I mean, you you're, you you're, you are ranked the second best offense in the league, right? Even with last week, this week's stats, you're still ranked second, right? But they're ranked fourth, right? I think the the problem for me is that I'm not. I think the Patriots' defense has played really, really well lately. Mm-hmm. They didn't play great last night. But I don't blame them because you couldn't. There's a lot of injuries. Yeah. Well, not even just the injuries. There's a lot of injuries, and you they couldn't, couldn't move the ball on offense. The defense right. is out there the entire game. You literally three and outed. Yeah. Uh, you know, every, or the, every time you got a third down, and you could, it's a punt, punt, the, or there pick, was, pick. There was a section, there was a part of that game where the defense got like four or five stops. Mm-hmm. Right. And yeah, the yeah, offense yeah. couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything. So I, I, the Steelers' offense is loaded. I 100% agree. I'm interested to see how that matches up if the Patriots are able to move the ball because what we saw last night was not a fair shake to the Patriots' defense because in the first quarter alone, the Dolphins had the ball for 13 minutes and 46 seconds. Gassed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what do you do for the rest of the day? I mean, you know, out of 15 minutes, and they had you're the ball already for 13 depleted, and three quarters. And you're already depleted personnel-wise. Right. So you got guys who don't play that often. I'm hoping Van Noy there. might come back for next week. That'd be good. Any word on Flowers? Haven't heard about Flowers. And like I said, the only thing I heard that Branch is now, like, he's worse off than they thought. Like, he was able to finish the and game. And Chung got play. banged up at the end. And any word on him? I don't know. He was playing like a fucking weirdo last night. Watching, no, 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 no. Watching him, like, he became. I he played great, he, to be honest with you. Chung? Yeah. He became Gronk from the game before. He looked like he was just angry the whole yeah, game, yeah, yeah. throwing punches at people. Like, he was, like, after the play, wanting to fight everybody. And I'm like, mm-hmm. What the fuck? You're playing Miami. They're right. playing, like you said, they're playing their Super Bowl. So why are you playing down yeah, to them? Yeah, yeah, why yeah. are you even giving a fuck? I thought fuck? he played right. good, though. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think he did because there was a couple plays that I watched that I was like, nah. I don't think he ever really got beat by Julius Thomas. And he was on him one-on-one for the whole game, pretty much. Yeah, most of it. Like I said, I thought Thomas had a few catches that were frustrating ones. Timely. They, they just kind of just timely. Yeah, they yeah, were timely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just stuck out to me. But I I, I don't know what his, what his box score was or anything. They but. made... Jay Cutler looked good. Yep. 
and they did this a lot. Good. Early and in I'm the not season, saying but... great or he went on. He was unbelievable last night. No, they just made him look good. I'll although... say what though. I thought he. I thought he did look good though. Yeah, I, he looked good when when they had the um the penalty when they scored the touchdown and they got called back for the holding. Yeah, Cutler ran over the ref was screaming. He was pissed. And I'm like. Oh wow, that's the most awake I've seen Jay Cutler since he's been on the Yeah, they got you know up I mean? for like, the game. Yeah, and he was he was very engaged. And when he's engaged like that, like you say, he's rolling around, he's moving, he was animated, he was good. You know, no well, cigarettes, know you whatever. Do, you wanna know how you stop him. that? You go up fourteen to nothing. Yeah, you go fourteen nothing, that team and loses Jay Cutler, everything. Right, Jay right. Cutler turns into Jay Cutler. Yep. Absolutely. When he's up seventeen to whatever against guy, the right. best team in the NFL, yep. he's gonna get up. I agree. I one hundred percent agree. Th- that was the thing. So as much as much shit as we've been given the Pats defense. How often were they on the field for that first quarter? Too often. For yeah. 13, Their defense 13 was minutes, minutes and 46 They minutes. held them to six points. Right. They held them to th- two field goals. Right. That's what I mean. So I think that really that defense played pretty well. The third quarter you separation was tough. You get yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, normally, if you're telling me that the other team is, is driving down the field against the Pats, but they're only kicking field goals, I'm like, they're gonna, the Pats are going right. to win. Right. I'm going to run away with this. That's like the numbers we were talking about before the show, that they're 29th in the league in pass yards allowed, but they're 5th in the league in points allowed, which is something we talked about yeah. a long time ago. They're 5th in the NFL right now in points allowed. I don't care about the the passing yards allowed because no, a lot of that could be garbage points. time. It yeah. Could be, yeah, it's all about points. But – you do wonder with a guy like Ben Roethlisberger coming to down if, or coming to town if you're or whatever you're going to his house and um, you have the number one receiver in, in the, the league, game. He, you know what? He might be taking away the MVP. He might be running away. He's with almost him. he's two hundred shy I, of I, two thousand. Yeah, yeah, but you guys know what Belichick's claim to fame is. Taking away the best option, and the thing yeah, is, but then now that means is you're gonna—they're just gonna run the ball up their asses without Branch, mm-hmm. without Van Noy, without Flowers. Yeah, but you don't know if they're gonna have home. Bell just fucking going hog think, wild. I think even if you had him, Le'Veon Bell's—he's gonna go hog. Good. If yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah, take away, gonna, you're gonna take right. away Brown. They're just gonna go hog wild with their running back. They'll the th- pass him the ball and run the ball. The thing mm-hmm. is, though, if you take away Brown and then you get up. On the right. scoreboard, see, I'll then, let him run. See, right, I'll, yeah, yeah, see, I'll, I'll let him run all he wants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, I'd rather shut down Brown, yeah. put a double on Brown, yeah. and just say, "You're gonna have to beat us with the run game." That's yeah, what I'm I, saying. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. No, yeah. no, no. My point is like it just eliminate Brown. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, oh, wait, yeah. okay. I said if you, I mistakenly, I must. Damn it! I confused myself. No, I would stop Bell. Really, I I would stop Bell because I genuinely believe. See, I think Brown they run can beat you. Yes and no, because we've seen and, and this is the one that I always talk about the Super Bowl. We talk when I talk about you know everybody talks about oh man you know these great Super Bowls and I'm like yeah but e- even the Super Bowl against Philly yeah they it wasn't a it, I don't I never felt like it was a close game right yeah, yeah. but fucking To with one leg. Right. Had almost 100 yards in the Super Bowl right. with a bum leg. You I think can he went over. Yeah, no, he was over you can let a guy get 100 right. yards, right. ball out, right. not give up touchdowns to him, but let him right, right, let him right. get his yardage yeah. like mm-hmm. you did in the Super Bowl against I agree. Julio, Julio Jones, Jones yeah. but shut down the other weapons. I dig that. I dig that. But what if Brown goes for 220 and two touchdowns? I was going to say, I agree with you if the guy's going to get 100 yards, but Antonio Brown will get to, will get 200 yards. Well, if you, if you put, let him, if, if you put Gilmore on him with fucking uh, with uh, McCordy, on McCordy the over the top. I, I actually now if, if he beats you, Butler. I would. I think Butler matches up better with him. I think speed wise he does. I just but, think if you but, want Gilmore, Brown is not a quick. You, but I if you put, tell Gilmore Butler, to molest him the first two yeah, yards like up the get, field, don't think, let him off the ball. I think you should do the other thing. I think you should put Brown and or Butler and McCordy on. Antonio Brown, and then put Gilmore by himself on, on the Juju. Other, yeah. on the Juju, uh, well, or Mart- Martavis. Right, yeah, Juju whatever, was yeah. banged up. So, oh yeah, 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 um, yeah. That's tough. I and what's his name? Looks horrible. He looked. He looked. He didn't play good. He's still coming back from an injury. Eric Bro, Rowe. yeah, he didn't look he good in the game. Rough. He looked really rough. Um, really bad penalty by Jonathan Jones too, huh? And he's normally so good. Yeah, he's so good. And he got beat in the end zone, didn't he? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. think yeah. about that. It's the first time you know you heard his. Yeah, name. no, I'm sure. No, he's been he's been really really the good. The whole this year. team just, just looked whole, bad. Yeah, no. was, I, but you know, we talked about it. Like Kevin and I did the podcast about what to expect from the Patriots season, and we were a little off on some things, obviously. But and we he said there, and I agreed that there's going to be a division game, whether it's Dolphins or Jets or Bills or whatever. There's one where they're going to go and stub their toe and look as ugly as they always do. There's always one a year where it just or not always, but. You know, more often than not, they lose one division game a year, and it's normally like, oh god, that was terrible. They look so bad. 
And it's like, oh, well, that's the Jets, right? Yeah, that's a division game or whatever. Every year, every year they've been to the Super Bowl, they've lost a division game. Yeah, yep. And also... In 17 seasons... Yeah. Since Tom Brady and Bill Belichick have been together... Yeah. They've only swept the division twice. Twice, right. And both times they did, they didn't win the Super Bowl. Right. (laughs) Yeah, so... So... I... And also, one last point for me before we move on is... I think it's a good loss, and I hate saying that, but I think... Winning streaks in the NFL don't last long. They won eight in a row. If they were going to win the Super Bowl, you would assume they'd win their final three, right? And then the three in the playoffs. So that would be 14 straight games or whatever that I don't like it. I would rather get the loss now. It gives the coach something to coach. Hey, you don't just get to wear a Patriots uniform and win games. You got to work hard. You got to try hard. You got to do it. It makes the team more coachable. Tom Brady said on the radio this morning, you learn more from losses than you do from wins. I agree with that 100%. There's more, and even Bill said that he agrees kind of with Tom, that they they always try to be as analytical as possible. Like the game is just the game, and what was wrong is what was wrong, and what was right is what was right. But when there's a loss, there's obviously more things wrong, so there's more things to look at or whatever. He's like, so, he's like, absolutely. So I think this is one of those, you see that a lot, especially with the Patriots because they're really well coached, that they lose a game, and then it's like, oh, wrath, like, fear the wrath of whoever the next opponent is because they're just going to unload on them. I don't know if that'll be the case, but remember for a long time there was that long stat where it was like, Bill Belichick doesn't lose two games in a row. You know what I mean? Like, you lose one, and then they're normally right back. They pick right back up. Tom said it today. Only thing you can try to do is don't let one loss turn into two. Don't let two turn into three. Don't, you know what I mean? And just try and come back, play strong, practice hard. I think it's one of those ones that might reground them a little bit because they were playing pretty well. You know, like they were playing their best football on a trajectory up. Obviously, you got the, the you know the bottom fell out, work back, get at it, and then start playing the football again, get healthier going into the playoffs, hopefully with guys like Van Noy, Flowers, everyone we've talked about, Gronkowski back from suspension. And Kenny by the Britt, way, Kenny Britt added sit, to the roster. So. Sit Gronkowski versus Buffalo. Yeah. Do not play him. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like coaching scared. Dude, they're going to try and hurt him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do, I don't th- do, they it, will retaliate. I mean, play him if you want to. I think they'll try and hurt anybody. They're going to no, Gronk's they're going to try and retaliate. If Gronk doesn't play, I think they try and hurt Brady. Oh, maybe. But they are going to try and retaliate. Yeah. Oh, d- for sure. For sure. Do you think the coaches, your two coordinators, are thinking about their next job? No. No, I don't think I, so. I know, everybody, I'm just saying, like, yeah, I just, the no, talk I just has been all though. year. It's getting close to the playoffs. That's when they start interviewing. Yeah. Do you think other teams are reaching out to them and they're starting to figure out their next move? Maybe they're not allowed to. So no, so hopefully I, not. <laughs> but um, I'm, not saying, I'm, I'm not saying, saying, I'm yeah, not saying yeah. this to be stupid, but LeBron and all them weren't right. supposed to talk and they were talking in the offseason. Yeah. And, that was me just putting a blank yeah, over. No, no, no. They're <laughs> supposed to. Can I kind of. Go on a tangent about something completely off topic right now. Sure. Because you said LeBron. You know when our guy got fired, the yeah. uh, take that for data guy. Mm-hmm. What was his name? Uh, that's a good question. Take that for data. I, don't know. I, I can't, can't remember his name it. now. Yeah, Fizdale, uh, David Fizdale. Yeah, yeah. And the NBA fucking freaked out on Twitter. Yeah. Like NBA players, are like I need an explanation. I need to know why he was fired. Mm-hmm. How quickly we forget that David Black got fired with a winning record. Yeah. Right. Because LeBron didn't like him. And no one in the NBA was like, I need to know. Gave a shit. I need right, to right. I need to know why he got fired. Like right. this is and now Gasol has But I like, think everyone has the well, answer. He was gonna say Gasol has a most, negative thing on him for yeah, being a coach. Here's killer. the thing. A lot of players, like we always make fun of KG or not KG, uh Kevin Durant for being fr- you know too friendly with LeBron. Mm-hmm. I think there's too many players in the league that are friends with LeBron, and they're like, and when LeBron when they would talk to him, like, yeah, no, I don't want that coach. We're getting rid of him. Well, getting I just think him. it's bullshit that now you know Marcus Gasol and the uh, the other guy in Memphis have a fucking Was it Randolph and Randolph uh, reputation. No, Mike Connolly. I have a oh. reputation as a... Uh, Conley, he was going to bat for us. I don't think he'd be the reason yeah, why yeah. he got fired. They have yeah. a reputation as like a coach killer. And then... Well, LeBron Le- has a reputation too. LeBron gets an okay when he just gets no. a coach. No, I think no, difference there is, no one said shit when he got David true. Blatt the, fired. No, not, everyone, the difference no, is true. LeBron James is still going to win an MVP. That's, that's the way true. people look at it. There was I'm, a big time. If you if you can Google LeBron James coach killer, there's tons of articles. I mean, it was blog you know, posts. You're everywhere. talking about the media though. 
Yeah. I'm talking about the oh, NBA. Oh, wise Okay, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, there was yeah, yeah. no the NBA yeah. players. Because gotcha, the gotcha. NBA is full of a Backed, bunch of nut huggers. Backlash, they love LeBron right. James because backlash against the guys in the Grizzlies and right. why this coach got fired. But no, and I think LeBron James might have been involved in that. Probably, yeah, yeah. But no one said anything to LeBron right. when he got a guy who had a winning record. I see fired. What you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I think he it's was just in first place. David Blatt was in first place. Right. Yeah. That's it, not it a valid point. That's a valid point. It's it's just I so get, you can I have a your, weird puppet coach. Uh, yeah, no, but I get I get your in. I get your point. But at the end of the day, every uh, most of these players in the league, except for like our star player, they all love LeBron for some yeah. reason. They love LeBron. They're not going to talk about him. I think, they might when he retires, right, right. when they don't have to deal with him anymore. Mm-hmm. I, I think the answer is pretty simple. I, I understand your take, and I and I like it. I get it, but I totally I think, understand it. I think the answer is this. Around the NBA, how many people like David Blatt more than LeBron James? Mm. Probably not many. You know what yeah. I mean? Probably most people love LeBron James. Around the NBA, there are certain coaches that are really, really liked. How many people are like, oh, yeah, Marcus All or Fisdale? Yeah, Fisdale. I think Fisdale's Fisdale a really like, good coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I would say that that's probably the outward cry, that there's a lot of players that are like, but Fisdale was a good coach. And a lot of people are like, I don't give a fuck. It's LeBron James. Like, you know what I mean? Like, who cares? It's you know, LeBron's yeah. the coach of the team anyway. Who gives a shit? So that would be my answer to you. Like, if you wanted it, yeah. if you wanted one, but it is an interesting take. Yeah, I, 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 when I saw it, I was like, dude, I didn't even think to connect. I was like, dot. LeBron, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, well, no, fault. I was gonna say that's the only person <laughs> I would. That would be like a Bach talk for him. Yeah. Like, he's the one that always. And that's the thing is, I was listening to one. I was listening to a podcast talk about. That, like how, I forget who it was. I want to say it was the guy that used to play for L.A. And then he played for, oh, um, he played in the, he played for uh, the Warriors last year. He's not in the league right now. Matt Barnes. He talks about how he's like, no, man, like I love that. I love that he's speaking up. And I'm like, why? Mm, yeah. That's the wrong guy to speak up. Yeah, I don't love that. <laughs> no, but like I think a lot of these guys, in their minds, they want the – they keep saying this is to completely go off topic, but they mm-hmm. keep saying the same reason why that it's not sociably acceptable to have a gay athlete is mm-hmm. you need a player like a LeBron, the greatest player, mm-hmm. to say, "Hey, I'm also gay." Right. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. oh, it's okay because it it's right, him, right? right and yep. he's great, and he's not going to let the league stop him. Right. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's what it is. That's another yeah. interesting angle too. Le- yeah. LeBron. I need some answers. Feels like my man was a fall guy in response to David Fisdale being fired. Yeah. Like, he doesn't even play for them. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how's he your like guy? That, yeah, right. Like, is he going to be, well, hey, hold Fisdale on, must have hold left on. A pretty good impression. Do you think he'll get the other guy fired in the offseason oh, okay, okay. if they bring in Fisdale to really, L.A.? Yeah, if they bring really. Fisdale to L.A., get rid of Luke Walton. Yeah. Bring in Fisdale. Yeah. Maybe his so. ball. Dwayne Wade said the same. I need answers. What the fuck? In response to well, Fisdale. Being imagine fired. who's what's Dwayne it? Wade's an idiot. Too. Tyron Lou is a terrible basketball coach. Blatt is a better coach. Blatt's a better coach. Would not be surprised if LeBron runs Tyron Lou out of town mm. and gets David Fisdale into Cleveland. My guy. If he stays. If right. he stays, yeah. Oh, I just been he might just, here, and then no, he might just dip. No, I was just saying, anyway. or just get him the job, and then be like, yeah, no, I'm still leaving. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I'm just. Right, I'm gonna leave you with here. David he's Fisdale. Call up you Sam, guys be in good hands. He's <laughs> gonna call up Sam Hankey. <laughs> yeah, he said, add a step to the process. <laughs> that is, fire your current coach <laughs> and get David Fisdale. Get David Fisdale. You are right about that, though. What? We'll talk about that later when we talk about basketball. Okay. But. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's get to our predictions. Yes. To me, all you gotta do is make a decision. That's it. Take a look inside my crystal ball. Well, well, well. Who won this week? Uh, it was Here overshadowed by the Pats sucking dick. Here we are at a crossroads. We're all just awkwardly staring at each other. No one knows the truth except for Aaron. I mean, I don't have to say anything. <laughs> I mean, you kind of do have to tell us. <laughs> you have to, we just we have to, I mean, you can, re- you can listen to last week's. <laughs> Just you could do the, do the math, read a book. Now you you won yet last week, Joe. We had a really bad week. Yeah, no, I think everybody like even the ones that you won, like the what was it? The Browns went in the overtime. Like they should have won that. Game. They should have won. There was as a soon couple as they games. Went to overtime, I was like, there was a couple games. I'm just <laughs> looking at them. I'm like, every week these fuckers just drop like Browns had like a the 10 overtime. Point lead. Huh. Browns go, go to Browns. as soon as they go to the overtime. I'm like, oh damn it! <laughs> just like I know that. Did you guys both pick the Browns again? No, I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. Say. But 
I just I want them to win a game. I just, I'm sakes. sorry, man. Like they yeah. they they've had a couple games where they've literally gone into the overtime yeah. with the game, and they just just they don't finish. There you go. Well, they don't finish. So the word on the curb is Joe won. Yep. So there's that. That's not the word. It, it actually happened. That's what I heard. It's not a rumor. <laughs> that's, that's a, so then this week that. we're gonna have some weird uh, Saturday games. Let's get weird. Uh, there's two games on Saturday. This week? There's yeah, two games on it. Saturday this week. Uh, you know, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Thursday night game, Broncos at the Colts. You know when they made this game, they were so excited oh, yeah. for it. I'm going with the Broncos. At the Colts. It's at the Colts. Yep. I'm going with the Broncos too. I feel like I always separate myself from the Wolf Pack on Thursday nights and just go go on my own venture. Get a nice no, early winter no, loss. Never no goes. Stand. Never goes well. I'm pretty sure we all picked. We the all same. picked them last week. We yeah, all yeah. picked the Saints last week and yeah. got smoked. It was like Thanksgiving week. I had the first game wrong. It was like right away. I'm like okay, no <laughs> one in the hole. <laughs> Start um, out right. Uh, I'm gonna go Colts. I'm gonna go Colts. I, mean, I don't hate the pick. Yeah. It's not no, like it's Broncos just are a great team. Right. <laughs> You know, they just had a good week last week. They did have a good week last week. And the Colts game was a very unfair game to judge them on because yeah, Blizzard, that was chaos. Blizzard, yeah. and, you know, one of the – never mind. I'm not going to go on my rant about <laughs> – Oh, one of the great expatriate quarterbacks of all time. No, I was just going to go on the rant about, about the guy Lashawn that won the McCoy. game. Oh, the Sean McCoy game winner. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Um, so the first game, the 430 game on Saturday, All right, the Bears at the Lions. I'm going Lions. Did the Bears just win? Bears did just win. They just beat uh, they beat the shit out of uh, Cincinnati. Yeah, thir- like 33 to 13 or something. Yeah, you yeah. picked the Bengals last picked week. Picked the Bengals last week. Got that, That's why did I know I picked that. the Bears? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> just, son of Even a when I picked up okay, a win, you, you would pick All right. up a win. <laughs> we'll get, Stafford, we'll get it. You uh, won. Stafford hurt his hand. He's a broken uh, – no, he's not a broken hand. That's McCown. Mm-hmm. That was two weeks ago for Stafford. Yeah, we all – Got hosed on that one. We all picked yeah. the Jets last week. Son, um, of a, son of a beast. I'm going Lions. I just th- I think they're better than the Bengals. So. I took the Lions in a straight up pick 'em over the Bucks. The Lion was a pick 'em. I won that game. I'm gonna ride my boys. Going Lions. Trying Ryan Lion O'Reilly. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> the Saturday eight twenty five game. Yeah. Char- wait, wait. Who the bit? Who'd you pick? I already said the Lions. I, I said oh, it before okay, right. you guys. You guys go on rants. Yeah, just, yeah I do. This forget. guy starts doing just, trying yeah. Ryan. Doing Ryan O'Reilly. Yeah. I already said, like, I was like, I'm going to go with the Lions and then yeah. wait for you guys to do your rant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chargers at the Chiefs. Chargers. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to ride the Chiefs here. And they figured it out. Uh, I just think it's a big game. It's at the Chiefs, right? Mm-hmm. I like it. I like Arrowhead Stadium. Um, the Chargers are playing. Their best. I'm just going to go with the Chargers, just because they're they're playing their, their best defense football. is nuts. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, they're playing. And they're their quarterback's great. like, I think he's like fifth or sixth in the league. I think yeah. Philip Rivers is playing better football than I've ever seen Philip Rivers play. So. Yeah, it's a bold claim, but I I don't have any numbers to. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's like, it might be one of his better seasons. Yeah. 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 Um. Dolphins at the Bills. Fuck them. Fuck them both. Tie. <laughs> I'm calling the tie. I'm writing tie. Uh, Tyler, if T- I, Tyler Taylor is questionable. If I call the tie and it's a tie, do I just win the week? No. It's got to be worth like two points or something like that. Yeah, no, get you yeah, two my, wins. Miami it's is chaos. at the Bills. Or is it at the Bills? Yeah, it's at the Bills. Uh, I'll, I'll take the Bills then. It's fucking like blizzard conditions over there. <laughs> I don't think it will be this week. Also, it'll still be cold. <laughs> it will be cold. I'm going to take the Bills. I'm going to take the Dolphins. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. Aaron's buying in. All right. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> not at all. I he, just think. He is a Dolphins tired. fan. Yeah. Yeah. true. Yeah. It's true. I'm a, I'm a, what do they call them, uh, winter birds? Well, or? based on. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Based, snowbird. snowbird. Based on who your greatest quarterback of all time is. Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. Dolphins fan. Mm-hmm. And, the te- and the messages we got. Oh, halfway yeah, through the fucking, game. Are you trying to have me break my phone? The hate <laughs> messages. Oh, Jesus Christ. The hate messages. Where was, where was the goat? Anybody? Yeah, yeah, where yeah. was he? Oh, he was playing. He just he had was, a bad game. Oh, he was there. He was, playing. He he was had, there? He just had a bad game. Oh. oh He's gosh, about, he you know, I don't know, like seven spots ahead of Dan Oh, you know Marino who? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know where the goat is. You want to know where the goat was? 
Right. Stand on the sidelines. Yeah. Well, he the, was at well, the that defense game. was on the field. Yeah, he was at that game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, one of the comedians that was at uh, one of Chad's shows. Yeah. He was on the. He got. Uh, oh, he's the goat. He got one of the. <laughs> that was um, He got one of the um, seats right on the sideline. Yeah. And he got to take photos with Dan Marino and oh, a bunch of cool. other people. Yeah. That's cool. So Dan Marino was in the house. So the greatest was in the house. Yeah, the greatest Dolphins quarterback of all time, no doubt. Yeah. The greatest, like number Damn. five quarterback <laughs> of all time. So Packers best, best at quarterback the Panthers. outside the top five. Uh, Panthers at the where? Packers at the Panthers. Oh, Packers, Panthers at the Panthers. Uh, the people. Oh, wait. Uh, Rodgers is making his return. Is he definitely? I think so. This week. Changes I heard. Things. I heard that they were talking about it. I'm, I'm still picking the Packers. I don't care if they have Rodgers or not. I don't think the Panthers are Oh, that's are that a good. huge difference. <laughs> um, the Panthers are like, they only have like four losses. I still they just and don't and they look, play in like they just the toughest division of football. They just don't they're look good. so wildly inconsistent. Yeah, they are. I mean, how come they don't get shit? Because they're the Panthers. Right. Well, yeah, who cares? There's no expectation. There's no expectation. You want to know why? Also, he's not bitching this year. I feel like I it's have really good great. answers to if everything he, today. Yeah. I feel like I'm on it's fire. It's going to be. Oh, it's not going to be great. It's going to suck. Water's wet. Dave has answers. <laughs> just, 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 it's not, it's not going to be great. Wet. It's going to suck when Tom Brady retires. But it'll be interesting to finally be some. Like, being a Pats fan kind of sucks. Yeah. You In think? that. How often do you really get excited? You don't really get happy when they win. You just mm-hmm. get really pissed off when they when lose because you expect them to win. So it's right, just yeah, like yeah. when they win, it's just like all right, pass mm-hmm. to pass. No, that's yeah. why. Pets, pets, when, pets, as much pets. as you guys make fun of me for like being so like anti, not and I'm not. I am just so fucking so debatable. Angry when they lose. Right, right, yeah. Especially yeah. when they lose badly. Right. Yeah. So anyway, well, yeah, I'm picking seven. the fucking Packers. Panthers. I'm still picking the Panthers. If Aaron Rodgers plays, that's game. I'm gonna go Packers. I just don't want to pick. Yeah, I don't want to pick. The score. Yeah, yeah. I think the not. Panthers are so wildly inconsistent. I wouldn't be surprised if the Packers did beat them. I don't. I don't think they're better by any means. But I wouldn't be surprised if they won that game. Who's their running back? He like went nuts this week. The Packers. Yeah. Jamal Williams. Who? Jamal Williams. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Brigham Young. <laughs> nice. Really good. Um. Ravens at the Browns. I'm going Browns, baby. I'm riding the train. It's not. A, it's not an unwinnable game. I'll take the point. I'll hit the Ravens. I'm going Browns. I think the Josh uh-huh. Gordon thing Gladly works. Gladly take the point. You Who do take... I keep next year? Tenth round pick. I can get two. Julian Edelman, Michael Thomas, Josh Gordon. Michael Thomas and Julian Edelman. Wow. Okay. You get two of them. I can pick two. Yeah. Who knows what the quarterback situation in Cleveland is going to be next year? Who knows what the quarterback situation is going to be? New Orleans, and I don't think it matters. Josh Gordon has always been that guy. Michael Thomas. When he plays, Michael Thomas has been unreal, like, the past, like, four weeks. Yeah. (laughs) He's he's, he's the number one receiver. Josh Gordon legitimately. On a way better offense. Josh Gordon, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Well, when do you have to decide your keeper? August. Oh, well, then just wait to see if Drew Brees comes <laughs> back. August. If he doesn't, then you take Josh Gordon. August, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have to make it. Texans at the Jags. 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 You, guys have to be, you have to be careful about the Jaguars. If the Pats lose to the Steelers. Yeah, the Pats are going to be the three seed. The Jaguars take over. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the home field. They'll be the three seed. I'm going the Jags. Um, I'm going Jags, yeah. Jets. At the Saints. This Saints. Is, this really hard one. Saints, yeah. Saints easy, 41-13. Yeah, it, 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 it would have been Saints before McCown is out yeah, for the rest of the year. Definitely no McCown. So Saints. Um, oh, Eagles at the Giants. Pick up. Um, I'm sorry. Eagles at the Giants? Mm-hmm. I'm riding Foles. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do the same thing, yeah. I did pick the Giants in a teaser bet that I parlayed today. Uh, they have to lose by less than 20. And I win. So that's such a Giants based. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll take it. I like that. I'm gonna pick the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, Cardinals at the Redskins. Cardinals. Been Who's sneaky. the leading sacker in the league? Who's the sack leader? The head of sacks. Is it Chandler Jones? It is. But their team literally has one more sack than the New England Patriots. So. I don't think it. And they Andrew Chandler Jones is all of them apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's what twenty? I think he's at like no, he's like 
14, 17, something like that. That makes sense, about 14, 15 ish, something like that. Somewhere yeah. in between there. Yeah. I saw that stat today and I was like, well, be, that's. Hilarious. I think he would help. That's the hilarious. Team, It'd be yeah. great if he was across from Trey Flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, he just, you know, he wanted to, you know, s- smoke some fucking fake weed and <laughs> run <laughs> run around naked and Synthetic, end up at a police station. Synthetic drugs are all of a drug. Yeah. Uh, Cardinals at who? At the Redskins. I'm going with the Redskins. Well, with the Ramskins? <laughs> good call. I'm uh, going to go Cardinals. I think they've been playing sneaky good football lately. Blaine Gabber got me negative seven points in one fantasy league. It's true. I forgot he had a dud. He had a dud this week, didn't well, That's also That fantasy Who'd league you take, is Dave? dumb. I did say the Cardinals, but hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. Well, he's already got the Ramskins, so he I'm, lost I'm this game. With, I'm going with the Redskins. You said Ramskin, but I, I already wrote it down. No, Ramskins it's the Redskins. Ramskins for the win. Ramskins for the win. So you guys both lost <laughs> no, this. Give me the Cardinals. The give me the Cardinals. I was saying for him, Ramskins for the win. No, not for, not no, my guess. I'm, I, I well, talk you'd, about be the surprised. Redskins. you'd be surprised when the Ramskins win the game this week. And then we'll, so does that just mean I need <laughs> both <laughs> and the Rams? Both are like, oh, I need to swallow a sign that mean, don't end it because this is over. Does that just mean over. both the Rams and the Redskins need to win for me to get one point? Yes. They both need to tie. To combine. Yeah. Uh, the Rams at Seahawks. I like that segue. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, give me the Hawks. I'm going to go with the Rams. I'm going with the Rams, too. Oh, yeah. No, the Rams. I'm sorry. Jesus Who did the Christ. Hawks just lose? Jesus to? Christ. I'm sorry. Uh, the Hawks just lost to the Jags. Oh, they got fucking manhandled by the yeah. Jags. And the guy had a banana peel thrown at him. Not great. <laughs> Not a great Did story. you see the... Uh, the guy tried jumping in the crowd. Yeah, that wasn't a banana peel, was it? Uh, someone said they were throwing banana peels at him. What what comes into the screen of that shot was a beer. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about when the Patriots last time they were up in... Uh... The dildo. Yeah, yeah that, that, keeps, that keeps happening. Yeah, two years straight now. Keep the good time. It's called, <laughs> it's called the bildo. The bildo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the it's, the bildo. yeah it's the buffalo bildo. Uh the Pats at the Steelers. All right. Uh, who do you got? <laughs> just, no, I'll let you guys out. pick. Go ahead. I hope you're picking the Steelers. I would yeah. love that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going Patriots. I'm going Pats, too. And I'm going to go 27-23 Patriots. I almost want to force you to pick the Steelers because you are. <laughs> I'm good luck when I yeah. pick them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 27-23, I guess. I'm going to go 38-27. That's not bad. Okay. I think I'm going to say 38-10. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pittsburgh will get his points. So I'm going to go with the Steelers. Yep. Thank God. We're good. We're good. We're all good. <laughs> Things are good in Foxborough. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. I'm going to go 32-17. Damn, you think they only put up 17? A little mop up, a little mop up, I like it. A little blowout. Against the Pittsburgh I I think he's doing it to help us. I hope so. (laughs) He's doing it to help us. When uh, New England wins 32-17, That doesn't count. That real doesn't count. I'm going to be real happy. He's going to be influxed. Um, Aaron will come on the podcast the next day and be like, I got the score right. I got the score right. (laughs) I got it. He will say it. He'll say it. I You make fun of me for my scores, but if I get it right. How do you get to 32? I fucking don't know. <laughs> I just throw numbers out there. That's going to be four touchdowns, uh, uh, four extra points, four drop kicks. Because <laughs> so. drop kicks are common. Yeah. Like, well, there's well, going to be some. Apparently. Yeah. Or two safeties. There's going to be you some safeties yeah, in there. What's, it's going to happen. Yeah. All right. What do we got? <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Titans at the 49ers. 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo. I've picked him to win every week, and it's been working. It is the same so. thing. Been, yeah, we've been Niners. It's kind of been fucking Yeah, I'm going, with, kind of I'm going f- with the San Francisco Jimmy Garoppolo's. Fucking the Pats? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. The better he does, the worse that pick gets. But I'm going to go with the Titans. Okay. I right. know they played bad last week. Keep betting against your boy. No problem. You know, no hey. problem. Hey, Jimmy G's look good. 
You take the Browns every single week. I know I took the Browns this week. You I also Browns don't week pick the Colts every Jimmy week. Garoppolo. I like I like Brissett, and I don't pick him every week. I know, but you, you have no faith in Jimmy I Garoppolo. No, I don't. Man. I would say Jimmy Garoppolo might look better than Jacoby Brissett so far in the limited action we've seen him in. Okay. He has. He also has 100% winning percentage, which is better than Brady's. Yeah. <laughs> New goat, <laughs> Jimmy Goat Garoppolo. <laughs> no, he's just not a goat. He's just a galloping chicken. He's a he's a llama. Jimmy Garoppolo. We call him the Glicken. Glicken. Yeah. Nice. What? Fried Glicken. Anyway, <laughs> Cowboys at the Raiders. <laughs> Deep fried Glicken. Uh, Cowboys at the Raiders. I'm gonna take the. <laughs> I'm gonna take the. Oh, fuck it. That's a tough one. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like that. You did ride that. You did will that into fruition. Cowboys at the Raiders. I love the Raiders. I'm going no. Cowboys. Is Zeke back this week? Next week? I think it's next week. I think it's next week. So I'm going to go boys. I still think the Raiders defense is just that bad. Dak has been going I'll, I'll really go the, well. For I'll go with the Raiders. Years. There you go. New episode name, by the way. Deep fried Glicken. The Glickens. Yeah. And you did? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, Cowboys. Dax played really well. Bengals turned himself into at the, face of that the Vikings. All right, come on. <laughs> the Vikings. Vikings. The Vikings just lost, though. Yes, they did. They did. But the Bengals just got the shit beat out of them by the Bears. Yeah. I'm so. taking the 2001. Uh, 2001 New England Patriots. <laughs> yeah. It was a very 2001 New England Patriots a thing to do right is, yeah, is that yeah, loss. Yeah. And wind up like 11-5. and five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then just yeah. And right off Monday into the night game, the Falcons at the box. I'm going Falcons. I think the Buccaneers are oh, horrible yeah. Yeah, with yeah, that yeah, yeah. W eating quarterback. <laughs> that, 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 oh, that W eating oh. son of a bitch. Uh, I'm going with the Falcons. I'm I just think Doug Martin sucks. No, but that other kid, Peyton Barber. Yeah, he's, he's good. Real well. They should fire that coach. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say they were in Miami. One of those just, one of those coordinators could have been interviewing for a Tampa Bay job. <laughs> Maybe. I don't if they know. go I'm there, bucks. just saying I called it. Why would they why take that job, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, of all the jobs. You have established the Gi- the quarterback and the weather. I think the Giants job's better. Um, I would be surprised. I would, well, and watch, Belichick wouldn't hate you watch, for going to the Giants. Watch for McDaniels in the Lions job. That's an interesting one, too. If the Lions fire their coach. Who are you picking, Joe? He I said, said, the he said the Falcons. And I said the Bucks. Well, you want the Bucks, huh? I'm going Bucks. Falcons have looked so ugly. I know they got the win last week, but Ryan threw three picks. They're broken. And they're broken. Damn, I'm going to pull away this week. Delete, delete. You so hope. I'm going to pull well, you, away. You this can't. Week. You're going to pull away oh, into more second place. I forgot to do it. <laughs> what? I, I, I was calling my shot. I'm going to win this week. No, no, no! You can't. I forget, post. No, I forgot, I forgot to nope, do it before. It's too late now. But I'm calling my shot. No, it's I'm too late. It won't work now. Six, four, three. I'll see you guys. Six, six. <laughs> three weeks. Oh, now. you're calling three <laughs> calling consecutive three shots. Three straight. Tying it up. Okay. All right. So How many more? Are we going into yeah, the playoffs? Like with this? you're that much ahead of me. <laughs> are we going into the playoffs <laughs> with this? Game? Yeah. 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 Of course. All yeah. Right. Yep. I was going to say, because regular season, I I I the the if I win one more week, I think it's done. It's, yeah, you clinch. Yeah, 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 one more week if, if we were just doing regular season. If I win one, no, if I don't win this week, I'm out. If it was just regular mm-hmm. season. So I would be eliminated. But, uh, the, what I was going to say is you do regular season most wins <clears throat> for the weeks, and then second place is the most most picks right. Yeah, 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 least yeah. losses. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, there's no prize for second place, though, right? No, no. Just a wait. So we firm are. Handshake. We are just doing regular season. Yeah. No. No, he's well, we can. Well, we can do whatever you want. I don't Jay, care. Take this thing right to the Super Bowl. Dave buddy. does not want to do regular season. <laughs> I think I'm tired. I think I'm, I'm winning the next three weeks anyway. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, oh boy, is that you take this thing into the, the playoffs? Tie, the tiebreaker and it's would be double points point in the playoffs. The tiebreaker would be the double points. points in the yeah, it would be the yeah. So the tiebreaker would be the actual how many yeah, how many, how many wrong of you. Which won. I would lose. 
<laughs> <Jack Lewis. laughs> I've had which, a couple ten week losses or ten. Which ten turns weeks. out I would be. You would win. I would lose. Yeah, I would lose. I'm yeah. going to tie it and lose. So such a glicking thing. To do. <laughs> it's just a deep fried glicking. Uh, so that's that. That was the, that was the pickums, that ladies the pick-ums, and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, um, if we're going, if we're taking this thing to the playoffs. I feel real good. I feel real good. <laughs> I think the playoffs is almost cheating because you, you by then know what those teams are. Yeah, so but wait, that's, the, but that's a, the stiffest competition. I have a question. Yeah, but though. we're all going to pick like half of us are going to pick like if not all of us are going to pick the same fucking teams. I don't know about that. You, There's yes. some tough matchups there, like Rams Vikings. You pick. I don't think we'll all pick the same for that. Yeah, Rams Vikings right now. I didn't know who I'd pick. It's that's a pick them to me. That's a it's pick, yeah. straight up. Either, try to, get, either try to get a point, I guess. Let's just see what you guys do. Move on from there. That's tough. I, I, have, I have to clarify one thing. If I do win, though, do yeah. I get a grinder from each of you? No. No, no it's a collective thing. You get thing. one. Because he wouldn't get, like, two brunches. Yeah, like That fuck? would mean you'd have to take him to brunch, and then I'd have to yeah, take him to brunch. Yeah, but a brunch is more expensive than a grinder. Nah. Depends on what you get for brunch. Yeah, I was going to say, it's depends like a plate on what I'm brunch. getting. I'm going to get one meal. Yeah, we're not talking about, like, he gets six mimosas. I'm not mimosas asking, and yeah, I'm not that, asking right. for gets, all the fixings. He gets the plate. Like, he gets right. a brunch plate. It's a brunch I'm plate. just asking for my, my chicken and waffles. That's all right. I want. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to get it because I'm going to I think I have the, the most expensive thing. The beer? A large pizza from oh, wow. Palm Tomato. No. Yeah. It might be a tie. Yeah, might be a tie. If I would, if I would have said, boy, you're doing fat boys. Yeah, that'll be clear. Yeah, if yeah, I would have said, close. like, you know, the biggest cone you can get at Buttonwoods, Aaron would have to mortgage his house. <laughs> right? Yeah, his, yeah. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Buttonwood Farms. Ice cream. Been? I've never been. I've never been either, but I know it's of it. It's Expensive. Yeah. I live, so it sounds awful. I live seconds away from it. Yeah. It's, yeah. And I don't ever go there <laughs> because. It's a packed house too. Like fuck. When it's that. busy, it's oh my God. fucking busy. Like yeah, I'm, I'm good. good. It's fucking ice cream and sunflower. The ice cream like, is cares. really good though. It's ice homemade. cream down the street is yeah. is is good. It's looks good. Briars. <laughs> I like Briars ice cream. I am a big time Ben and Jerry's guy. Ben and Jerry's guy. I also like Hagen Dazs. Not gonna lie to you. I like the Halo. Oh, the Halo. Halo is that good. Light, that light, that's a, when that, I ran into a that, stop and shop, we were talking, you were yeah, talking yeah. about the Halo. The, yeah, li- yeah. the light, less fattening ice yeah. cream. What is it, like 80 calories, the whole thing? Or like, no, the whole thing is like, I think, like 140 or something like that. Right, yeah, 240. Yeah. It's still crazy. It tells you exactly. It tells you exactly on the pint on the, how yeah, much the whole pint is. It's crazy that I could have a whole pint of ice cream. A whole pint, and then Ben and Jerry's, you can have like a quarter pint. No, you eat the whole pint anyway. If you're going to, if you're going to, you just you commit. Savage, you yeah, commit just Netflix, to being fat. Netflix and cream. Yeah. <laughs> just get nice. Uh, yeah. That yeah. could be taken yeah. many take different you, ways. Take it how you want. Okay. Okay. Get I nice. miss it. Right. I miss it. What's your Ben and Jerry's flavor? You dirty glick in you. Well, mine was the Dublin mudslide. Oh. And they discontinued it. Good. What would you like? What the fuck is I'm wrong a simple. With I'm the you. simple guy. Strawberry. It's going to be strawberry. Is that even a real Ben and Jerry's flavor? Can you get Ben and Jerry's strawberry? It's like whatever. It's like fucking like strawberry, strawberry fields the or something. Back. I think it's like <laughs> yeah, strawberry yeah. fields or something like that. Yeah. Anyway. I, I mix mine strawberry. up too much. I yeah. like Cherry Garcia. Cherry like, Garcia's good. Uh, cherry Garcia's good. I like... Uh, the, I don't like in anything my opinion, to do with the Grateful Dead. In my opinion, Nothing. the best cookie dough ice cream of all time is the Tonight Dough by mm. Ben and Jerry's. I also didn't really... Pick up on the fact that what's my favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? Yeah. I thought you were saying what's my favorite ice cream flavor. No, that's why I said. Yeah, Which, but, yeah that's yeah, why I said. I don't think do they even have a strawberry. Yeah, they do have a strawberry, strawberry one. Fields. Yeah, um, yeah, but uh, Cherry Garcia is pretty good. If I had to do a Ben, I like Cherry, I like cherry, cherry Garcia. Garcia. Yeah. I, 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 I think it, I think I think it would be uh, Caramel Sutra. Mm. That's like also very good. When I went on my honeymoon, we went to Ben and Jerry's. Family. I want to hear about now, the Caramel Sutra. Yeah. On your honey, that was what they yeah. were serving. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! no. Okay. It wasn't caramel sutra anyway. They were it was ser- triple, it was serving. triple caramel. Who was caramel. serving? Who? We went serve. to the Ben and Jerry's factory. <laughs> okay, <Who's that>? damn. <laughs> okay. Netflix and cream. <laughs> <laughs> Just made it dirty. Shit. All right. Well, this got this podcast has gotten away from me. What the fuck? We've lost control here. You said I was right about something about basketball. You tell me. Uh, you were right. That Sing they, my praise. <laughs> <laughs> no, they kept saying it. I keep seeing it all over ESPN. I hate to give them any credit, but oh. they were definitely giving them uh, 
the the process. Trust the process. The process is yeah. Joel Embiid. That's what, yeah, he was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what. It yeah, is yeah. Joel Embiid. Right. Yeah, that's his nickname. That's and, what some people have been and saying. And he is that. playing. He is the great. process. He is the process, and he is not legit. like Joel what Embiid. Sam Hinky was doing, but right, the right. actual like right. Joel Embiid as the player was. Yeah, the did well, he just get hurt though? I didn't see that. I also wouldn't be surprised. I thought I heard somewhere that he got hurt. I like, did not hear that. Like around hurt, the si- like hurt, hurt, or... like around the same time Carson Wentz got hurt. Mm, I didn't hear that. That doesn't mean that would be tough for that city. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. I thought that's Jeez. what I heard. Yeah, that'd be tough. I mean, to be honest, he's the guy that they sent to the lottery. Like, right? He is anything and everything what they want their team to be. It's what we said about. Isaiah Thomas. Like yeah. without Isaiah Thomas, they don't get Al Horford. They they send Isaiah Thomas to go be the lucky leprechaun or whatever to get yeah. the number one pick, and then they get it. And or or they didn't wind up with number one that year. That was Jalen, but then uh, he's the reason why everything happened. You know, yeah. like you can you can thank Isaiah. Oh, it's just a minor thing. He missed like one night. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Joel Embiid is disgusting. He's a really good fucking basketball player. Cleveland nine and one in the last ten games. Yeah, surging, surging. Uh, tough loss for the Celtics last night. No Kyrie, no Marcus Morris. Bunch of bunch of guys. Twenty three and six. The Celtics right now. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Twelve and two at home. Eleven and four on the road. Five and zero oh in the division and fifteen and five in the conference. Yeah, they are. What's uh, like Nine record? and one. I don't know it off the top uh, of my head. They're, like they're I think, four yeah. games back. The Celtics are like nine and one against the West. Which yeah. is crazy good. Yeah. That's really good. They, yeah, like I said, Kyrie, no Kyrie last night. He's the guy. You yeah. know what I mean? And in a especially regular season game. I want to talk about people ranting and raving. I have a friend. Well, I don't know about after yesterday's comments, but um, he was on Facebook and he was just like, yeah, great day, great night, great everything. Fucking Bulls hold out the Celtics and the fucking Dolphins beat the Patriots. How about that? And I'm like, and you're a Yankees fan, so you were born in the 90s and you love all of those teams because they were oh, the popular teams. He's a Jordan a, Jeter fan. He's what? a Dolphins, Bulls, Yankees fan? Yep. I want to... I wanna, it's it's I, not. A, it's, I'm on full suicide is it, watch. Is, is it as bad because it, because of the Yankees and the Patriots? Well, now? see, would it be worse if he was either a Dolphins or a Cowboys fan? Cowboys would be way more, but more common. You would think more common because if you're going to be a bandwagon guy for yeah. all the like greatest players or greatest teams, that would be the team. Cowboy, you would the Cowboys would be way more annoying because Cowboys fans are way more annoying. Yeah. Yeah, he's a Dolphins fan. It's just as annoying. He can't really be that annoying because it's just like oh, you guys are awful. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> Congratulations, you beat us. What's our lifetime record? <laughs> oh, that's right. See, see, it's <laughs> like every other. It's like every argument. You have that argument, and then he just goes, "Yeah, well, what about the Yankees?" I'm like, we were talking about the Patriots How and the Dolphins. Quickly, do you 20, guys go rings. from talking about Ben and Jerry's ice cream to 27 rings? Yes, yeah, it's, it's probably like. Insane. I'm big into Cherry Garcia, 27 ranks. That's like, not a flavor. See, so fuck. are we going to talk about the elephant in the room when right. it comes to the Yankees? So that's exactly what I was going to get into. The Celtics kind of. Yeah, I'm on full go, suicide watch. Going through the regular season motions. Off season seems like. Oh, okay. So we're we're still talking. If we want to stay. Oh, no, no, no. I was just saying that the Cel- no, you know, no, no. Celtics are going through their ebbs and flows. The fucking balls. Oh. Literally yeah, yeah. the ballless balls. <laughs> Going to fucking know if Europe? Literally is the, is no, literally, the way, yeah. literally. They have no balls. <laughs> yes, they they are all eunuchs. Fig- After the father gave birth, he chopped them off. He's a eunuch. Figuratively, allegedly. allegedly, allegedly. There it is. Okay, I'll take it. I'll meet you in the middle. I like that. But they both he he yanked his son out of college and his son out of high school, and he is sending them to Europe. Be professional basketball players. Yeah, he's fucking, in Lith- fucking the like Lithuanian so. club. He needs to quickly realize that Cooper Manning, a.k.a. the middle ball, is not going to do anything. Uh, Leangelo? Yeah. Leangelo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not going to be in, in the NBA. Yeah. He still thinks that all of his kids are going to be Lakers. We were well, talking about that. How great would that be if they all ended up on the Lakers? Because that team would be horrible. 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 Well, well, yeah. Cause Two of them play the same. And position. their coach, Luke Walton, would definitely, like, Suck start a pistol. 
<laughs> he would be on suicide. And, and he would just he, end no. It. Like, he would be like, like "Listen, I'll switch <laughs> places with right. anyone else in the yeah. league right oh, now." He would just quit. Yeah, it just <laughs> he'd be like, uh, "Is I Memphis suck star yeah. Yeah. Still, Is right. Memphis open? I will right. take that take, position." Yeah. Hey, they call up Fizdale and be like, I'm, "Hey, you want the you take want the that Lakers? for data? <laughs> like, no, take, take that, that for data." data. <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't love the move. I don't hate the move. I get it. It's. It's an, it's a strange it's a strange move. I just think you're you're taking away your your kid's well, no, childhood. No, no, fuck, fuck that. The youngest now his one. Other, yeah, the youngest one can't ever play in college now. Right. Yeah. The moment you sign to go pro, you yeah, you, you throw yeah, your you eligibility throw out the right. window. The he young, can go to school, but yeah. he can't ever play basketball. Right. So he's not going to get a scholar. He's not going to get a scholarship. Right. Now the only thing, like I made the point to you, is that for whatever reason, Lavar Ball's dream that he wants to will to reality. Is I'm going to get all three of my boys on the Lakers. You watch, just watch me, right? Do you think this is his best chance to do that? Oh yeah, by moving them overseas, they don't have to make themselves eligible for the draft. They can work out, and you could do that in college, but playing professionally, I think develops your game a little bit more than playing college basketball. Well, well I just don't think Leangelo is good enough to be in the NBA. I don't think he is either. I don't think he is either. But if he has a good season there, you might be able to say, well. D you try out D League, yeah, say G League, yeah, right. I, it's gonna I think happen. you have a better chance of doing it What's this gonna way. Happen is so I give him credit if that's Lonzo what he wants. Lonzo is going to be playing for yeah. the Lakers. Leangelo and Lamelo are going to get like team positions, yeah, with the Lakers, but not be actual players on the right. roster. And he'll be like, "I did it, told you, did it, got <laughs> them all on the Lakers." Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I best dad in the world, right? I don't. I need a thank you from Trump. I don't, <laughs> I don't hate it. I just, I don't know. It's sort of just like it's not my business. I just think, <laughs> just yeah, I no. I just think as as a kid, I'd be like, <laughs> Dad, I want to graduate from high school. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm, I agree with. The, I don't. I, agree. I don't I really care what he's doing with Leangelo. I think it's a little fucked up what he's doing with Lamelo. Right. Like, yeah. Leangelo's a co- he was a college freshman. Right. You're 18 years old. He got upset you have the right to suspended. you have you have the right to go. You know, f- fight and die for your country. Right. You have the right to go play overseas basketball overseas right, yeah, and do what you want. Well, He's is, an adult. He pulled Leandro out of UCLA because they suspended him for fucking stealing in China. Like, right? Did you think well, he wasn't going to get here's, suspended? Here's right. the other thing I want to ask. Uh, you better hope Lithuania doesn't have an extradition, extra, mm. uh, whatever the yeah, hell you yeah, call yeah, it, yeah, where they so. fucking can send you back to the mm. country that wants you. Right. Because if China starts calling and wanting them, right. Well, I think they're cleared. I, China let them go. It I mean, they let like them they, go. It wasn't like a jailbreak. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, they bailed them out of prison. It wasn't like Donald Trump, like, opened the game. It was like, run, guys, run, it just run. It was like Wentworth Miller. Fucking like, yeah. I got here. Um, yeah, no, but that's... I would China, love, China can also... It's their rules. I yeah. would yeah. love... Yeah. No, we want them. I would we love to them. see a Saturday Night Live skit where Donald Trump, Trump. breaks into jail... <laughs> Like Wentworth Miller with the tattoos all yeah, over his he's body got the map on his to head. get Leangelo Ball out of jail. That would be a good bit. That would be... I don't want to see Saturday Night Live do it. I want to see us do it. <laughs> I, want to see I am that's not content. playing... You I have to be Trump. I, okay. Very, yeah. okay. very all right. stupid people. I I'll be LeVar. I'll be LeVar. Just kind of hold your hand like this. I don't want to do that. I, can I just be a... Don't try and get no. me with it. How about this? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, how he, that's how he talks. Can I just... Try to get me. I get it. Can I just be one of, like, the random guys in jail? Do I have to be anybody you important? Have to be, you have to be the guard. Can I be the guard? Let, that let I'm him okay go. With that. Like, hey, what are you talking about? And then yeah, I'm like, okay yeah, with that. Right, I can live go. with that. There All right. Nice. I'll work with it. Good bit. Yeah. Watch that on YouTube. <laughs> At BS Nerd. <laughs> so, no, uh, I just thought that was the one thing that, like, I, I was like, I get like, yeah. like, that's just crazy to me. Yeah. Like, who just takes, like, and that's the one thing, and that's what the one thing a lot of uh, professional athletes try to stress to the, the kids that are, that, that don't stay in college. Like, here's the other thing. Did four years of college hurt uh, Tim Duncan? Tim Duncan? Did it I really like hurt point. him? I like, like this point a lot, yeah. That that killed his career. Wow. He had a horrible career because he went it to could have college. Been he tore his ACL in like the third, the fourth year. Yeah, it could. You know but I mean, you could do that. But here's the other thing: one of these kids gonna go over there, and even if he sucks, he they're gonna do it there. He. But here's the thing: you could do that in college and learn from it. Aren't they getting rid of the one and done rule? Uh, they're making it worse. What are they doing? It's gonna be two. Yeah. Two or three years. I think it should be you either go to college and you have to stay at least three, 
like the NFL. Yeah. Or you can go straight from high school. That should be your option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nobody will ever go to college. Any of the any of the quote unquote stud players coming yeah, out of high fine, school. Fine, that's fine. But, but then you'll get you'll but they'll still all be get, washed up. You'll still get they'll good college not, players though, because you'll get guys who don't think they can make it in the NBA right. who go to college and now they have to play off. And they can seasons. be a top pick that way or whatever. Yeah, you know what right, I mean? Right. You can yeah, you, no, you but, two options. You can yeah. either go I get it. I'm or just you, saying if you're gonna go to college, you have to stay. I think you'll have more high school players and I think that'd be really bad for the league. How many years did Kemba Walker play in the college? Four. I would think, four it, would, I think it would balance four. out, though. You're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of high school players, right? Yeah. But you're also gonna get a lot of polished players, polished players out of the that that are coming right like after all four years. Mm. Yeah. So it'll probably wa- wipe out. Plus, how much do you think that one year of college affects a lot of those guys? You think it's I don't that? Think, uh, no, I don't think it helps much at all. That's what I mean. So I, I think, mean, I think you that's already the you already have a fucking abundance of one and dones. I think the league is watered down because you have a lot of raw guys. So just, that way you get your that way you're at least forcing these guys to be mm-hmm. more polished. Right, so right. right now you have very little polished guys. I coming think out of college. I think you just go like you have three to go years. To college. <laughs> I have to do three years. Well, like, there's nothing wrong with it in the NFL. You know I was, what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what it should be. Right, you right. either go to college for at least three years. Mm-hmm. I or, just don't. I don't like the idea that you can choose not to. I like the three years. Well, yeah, but see, you, I was talking do it about that way, then you're going to have a lot of people go overseas. But see, I was talking about how I everybody think. th- he thinks he's, his kids are going to be the next Kobe's. Mm-hmm. Kobe. Now, I I, I don't particular. I'm not a particular fan of Kobe, but yeah, I respect Kobe. his his game as a basketball player. Right. I understand that Kobe's an anomaly. LeBron is an anomaly. Right. KG. Your kids. Are not them. Did you see right, what Kobe right. said about him? About no. Lonzo Ball? No. He has to get much better right now. <laughs> That's what Kobe Bryant said about Lonzo Ball. I love Kobe. He has to get Kobe. way better right now. Yeah. And he spent a year in college. Yeah. I love Kobe. Like, his when he talks basketball with people, like, it's just he's he's such a good student of the game, too, that, like, he's like, I know you don't like him personally, but I think, like you said, like, you can respect his game. He's just so intense to listen to when it talks to when he talks about basketball it's like there's so much passion so much it's insight that i really like that's funny that's a really simple thing like he just needs to get better right now yeah immediately you know yeah. who doesn't need to get better right now jason tatum the new york yankees oh yeah that's true i would like them to get worse right now yeah and even like more bigger like dick kick i would say was like the jose abreu thing was like kind of a misled story yeah, I was sort of like, okay, All right, well, they John asked, Carlo can go. They asked, his, I'll take a break. Have you heard the two other names now? Uh, JD, who's it, Hosmer and JD Martinez and yeah. uh, he's a free agent. Ozuno, so. Ozu, the, he's for, like second baseman on the Marlins, I think. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't know his last name, but I know who he's talking he, about. Uh, he might not be a second baseman, but he plays for the Marlins. He hit mm-hmm. like thirty home runs last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I don't know, and it just it seems. Well, J.D. Martinez, if you look at his stats compared to Giancarlo Stanton, like the last three years, yeah. caveat, Giancarlo Stanton was kind of banged up the last couple of years. It was kind of hit in the face, but, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, kind of but face they have off. almost identical numbers. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've heard a lot of J.D. Martinez excitement. I'm not opposed to it. I just. I is, is he left-handed? I think you have to do something. Mm, I don't know. You have to do something. Yeah, Did you yeah. hear the other thing that was a kick in the dick? Joe Carlos Stan was just like, yeah, Red Sox never even contacted me. Yeah. Just like, what? Right. What I, and Did you see how much money he's still going to be paid? Yeah, it's like oh, 13 yeah. years, $250 right. million dollars, something like that. They, the other thing that bothered me about it is everything came from John Carlos Camp. Like, he wants to be on the West Coast. He wants to be in the National League. He wants to be in the small market. I was like, well... Bum, 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 bum. Like Yankees, None of that East Coast, Yankees, AL, no. big market. Well, and like, it's supposedly fuck? he turned down. I get the Yankees, like the draw to the Yankees. He turned down San Francisco and St. Louis. Right. And that's where I was sitting there Just like, like, yeah, I don't want to go there. What, then what do you want? You I, know what I, mean? I don't like, blame him also, about St. Louis. can we talk Louis, about but, right, right. the fucking obvious collusion that's going on? Just like, oh, what a coincidence. Derek Jeter buys a part, fucking stake in the Marlins <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then ships the best player to his old team for right. fucking Starlin Castro. Fired everybody, too. You saw that? Yeah. He fired, like, everybody underneath He shipped him for nothing. It's crazy. John Car- he traded John Carlos Stanton for nothing. It's just and they don't have to pay Did you hear the other caveat? He gave the Yankees $30 million so that they could pay their luxury tax. 
included in the trade. He was like, yeah, we'll throw $30 million into it. That is crazy. Well, I guess, I guess we, you could I, pay the thirty million if you don't have to pay it to collusion. Right, you don't have to pay. Hey, pay I guess collusion. I guess I guess we can go back to hating veto hey, the, the trade. Derek Jeter. No, veto. just going back to hating yeah. Jeter. Veto the trade. Yeah, that's tough. Veto the trade. Yeah, where's, the, uh, no, where's here's the, the first. Want to hear yeah. the other? Kick Do a in Chris the Paul thing and say no. You can't yeah, do that. No. Chris for Manfred, the, come on. For the betterment of the league. Or Rob Manfred. Let's send him to uh, the Padres. Right. That'll be fair. Good deal. Yeah. Right. He wanted to go to a small market West Coast team. Dave Padres. Stern. Dave Stern. A lot, see, a lot of people say that about the Chris Paul deal. He was the owner mm. of the of the Hornets at the time yeah. or whatever. He's they like, were. I don't want to make that deal. He wouldn't make it as the as the owner of the team. Yeah. yeah. And everyone was like, the commissioner just vetoed the deal. And it's like, well, I get it that he's the commissioner. But the but, league on the team. But this, the league on the I team. I understand so why like, he did it, too, because the, he's trying to sell that team. Right. It's way easier to sell when you With go. With Chris Paul on the team. I have Chris Paul on the team. <laughs> right. Or, and who'd they get in return when they traded him to the Clippers? Um, Didn't they get Eric Bledsoe and, like, somebody else? I can't remember. Because the like deal was Bledsoe worse. The deal was worse. Else. But they got shit. It wasn't as good because it was going to be, like, Pau Gasol for the Lakers. There's going to be Pow and someone else. But they got the number one pick that year, the Pelicans. Oh, and they got Anthony Davis. And they wound up getting Anthony Davis. So they, they like, they treat. I can't remember what the, what they got from the Clippers, though. Well, maybe that deal. it must be better then. Maybe he was like, if we're going to trade him, I don't want good pieces back because I want the Clippers to stink. I right. mean, I want the uh, – Pelicans. The Pelicans to stink so that they can at least get a good player. Well, he, never also, pl- he actually never played on the Pelicans. Oh. He was in New Orleans. He was only – they were only yeah, the yeah, Hornets. Yeah, they yeah, never yeah. – they hadn't changed oh, the yeah. name yet. Right. But they – I remember that deal at the time, and I'm like, yeah, that actually – was it like Trevor Ariza? Yeah, yeah. And and I, I think – I can't – I, I don't want to speak at a turn here, but that deal also, as the commissioner, you would say, yeah, I don't want – a super team. I don't want to just hand out a super team like Chris Paul, Kobe. You know what I mean? But like that's that's disastrous just to trade your way into it as the guy. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like if if two other guys figured out whatever. But then also as a GM, like yeah, no, I don't love that deal because salary cap wise, I remember taking Pow on was an issue. Yeah, and it made it handcuffed him a little bit. But not that that's really relative to this point at all. But I just when you said that about about collusion, yeah, the collusion it's getting collusion. in on there. I just can't. I can't remember now. Are you guys are you guys on suicide watch because the Yankees are good? No, I, you know I'm less I'm less baseball passionate these days. But Aaron, good man, Aaron came up with the uh, the Trade. results of the Clippers deal on December eighth, two thousand eleven. The Hornets agreed to a three team deal, sending Pau Gasol to the Los Angeles Lakers. And the NBA, who owned the team at the time, nullified the deal with Commissioner David Stern claiming New Orleans would be better off keeping Paul. The teams involved in the trade attempted to lobby the league to reverse its ruling and reconstruct the deal to no avail. On December 12th, four days later, the Hornets agreed to trade, sending Paul to the Clippers, but the deal broke down after the NBA added additional demands on the original terms. Two days later following that, December 14th, the teams finally made the trade. Chris Paul was sended or was sent with two future second-round picks to the Clippers for future teammate Eric Gordon, Chris Kamen, Al Farouk Amino, and the Timberwolves' unprotected first-round pick in the 2012 draft. So that's that. That's why, because they got an unprotected first. Yeah, an unprotected pick. first. And right. and Eric Gordon at the time Eric was Gordon's pretty good. Yeah, still a good, still a good player. Al Farouk Amino is all right. Yeah, I mean the big no. tick, the second big kick in in the dick. Did you hear about fucking Stephen Wright? <laughs> <laughs> He's on the list now. No, I I don't. He's know on the, whole the story, list. What's, how crazy? Yeah, well, I mean he's done. He's I mean oh, that's nuts. He's done anyway. No, I'm just saying, like, that was supposed to be, like, their fifth starter, and now he's... Yeah, he's, he's done. He's done. He got arrested for uh, domestic. domestic assault. Hmm. Claiming he never put hands on anybody. But where there's uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. Where yep. there's water, you're wet. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Right. But uh, no, they need to go out and do something. I I saw another. Uh, I heard. JBJ. I saw another I heard article. JBJ might be on the move. That's the name I keep hearing a lot. Yeah, me too. Well, I keep I keep I've read an article where they said they asked. Uh, I guess the GM of uh, or no the new coach of the 
White Sox, like, is Jose Abreu on the move? Yeah. And he's like, right now, Jose Abreu is our first baseman. Just gave, like, the traditional. But right. there's a lot of supposed, of, you know, behind closed doors chatter between the two teams. Right. We'll and see. They said that they kind of were, um, they oversold the levels of the conversation. Interest, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, yeah, we'll see. I mean. I what? just, I don't want to see them give up. You don't have a great farm system right now because most of those farms, your your mm-hmm. farm golden treasures, right? your fucking rubies, yep. are up on your, already fine. on your roster that you need to keep on your roster. Right, right. J.D. Martinez is expected to meet with the Red Sox. Well, he's a free agent? Yes. I like that But he's, all bit, he's also a Boris guy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, whatever. This they is the pay. thing. I hate when people talk about spending money with a baseball team. Just if, especially if you're the Red Sox or the Yankees, just fucking pay it. Spend the money. I right. don't give a fuck. I don't care about how your luxury big the tax. contract is. But this goes back to my point. Every time these mm-hmm. fucking guys get paid too much, right, it makes it less affordable for me to go see the game. Right, and that's a that's a super valid point. Yeah, and that sucks. It doesn't. If the Red Sox had the worst, the Red Sox had the worst team in baseball like three different times, and they were still the most expensive ticket. It doesn't matter. Just fucking pay them. <laughs> just, yeah, just be better at just least. Yeah, yeah. Pay them the money. I would rather, it, as a fan, I understand as a, like in a salary cap league where you're like, well, I don't why not? Spend put, a lot why of don't money. they? Uh, what? I don't. Know. Why the, don't the they put a salary cap? Never allow it now. They would never. They would. I understand out. in a salary cap league, like not wanting to spend a lot of money on one player, but in a baseball where it literally does not matter, mm-hmm. I hate when people complain about their guy. Yeah, their bad money, contracts. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like sign the worst contracts. Right. I don't care. And if anything, it's not my money. The people that <laughs> complain about salary cap or lack of salary cap in baseball, and they're like, "Oh, it's just stupid because the Red Sox and Yankees get to buy championships or whatever." Hey, turds! They go over the luxury tax. The luxury tax is redistributed as free money to teams that don't make a lot of money. Yeah. So the more we pay, the more you make. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Florida Marlins, Houston Astros, whatever fucking other small markets there are, the more the Yankees buy guys, the Oakland the, A's, Oakland A's. The more you you get money for them being greedy, yeah. like you should root for that because now you have free money coming in. It's and just it's I, so annoying. I know what Aaron's saying. Like obviously, if they spend more money, ticket they raise ticket prices. But it's mm. kind of like if they don't spend a lot of money, most likely their team's going to suck. And then how many people actually want to go see them? Right, right. But if they spend money, a lot of people see them. Yeah, no, they no, raise no. ticket prices. Here's the thing: it's because it, it comes down to like the and, and this is how. I want to say not to go like philosophical or anything, but this is how our country and the society works. Who gives a fuck about the working man and right. being able to, be able to do anything? Yeah, it's all about the bottom line of the of of yeah. who the 1%. wants. Yeah, and if 1%. they do, if they do not, like let's say they the don't, owners don't give a shit that you can go to the game or I can go to the game. Right. Somebody else will. will yeah, right, that right. has the money. Right. I just don't have any money. But let's say <laughs> let's say they don't. Yeah, yeah. Let's say they let's say, imagine that they had the lowest salary cap in all of baseball. Yeah. Right. And they were magically good. Okay. You're probably still paying the same price you pay for a Fenway ticket now. Even if they if the win team, the championship, even, even, if, even if the team is cheap, because when a team is good, people are going to go go mm-hmm. supply and demand. If they know a lot of people want to go to the game, yeah. they're going to jack those ticket prices up right. until people stop coming. Like this team was so hated all year, right? But, yeah. The least likable Red Sox team in a long time. Mm. And that's kind of been growing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's not just brand new, but like over the yeah, past it was seven manager. years, it was right, your right. manager was a big part when of teams that. are but good. Even, ticket even, prices go up. It's even just... like before, like with Franco and the chicken and beer, that team was really unlikable. Yeah. You know what I mean? They ran they ran a manager out of town that was a really good manager, and sure they won a championship on a fluke year, great. But then they were really bad again for a few years. Then they won the division, and then they won the division, but they keep losing in the playoffs. Over the past ten years, really, like after the 07 championship, the team's kind of been on this less popular trend you know what oh. i mean like if you look at the trajectory of, of of the roster from then the ticket prices go up <laughs> every yeah. year even though less people want to go watch them like they're not likable then they become more and more unlikable over a 10-year span and it will keep going up until fenway stops selling out and then right. they'll be like all right we gotta drop ticket prices yep. Yep. i mean just and fenway's the easiest place to sell out yeah. all you got to do is find what is it twenty five thousand people or yeah, whatever Twenty three thousand people and the, like it's just 
when you win your ticket prices, like the Pats, yeah. the Pats had terrible, t- like really low ticket prices when they were awful, mm-hmm. but they started winning and now they're one of the most expensive yeah, tickets. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like eighty bucks to go nosebleed. Yeah, like top row yeah. of the stadium they season have the second, tickets. It's eighty bucks. Second most expensive average ticket, like depending on you know you took their highest price and their lowest price. I go on SeatGeek. It if you go on SeatGeek and look for tickets to Pats, three hundred bucks. Yeah, and then bucks. I type in like. Browns and mm-hmm. it's like seven dollars right. to sit in like the middle of the stadium. Crazy, yeah. All right, well, I, I'm all I'm all sports out. Yeah, I'm sports out. You good? Yeah, I I'm just gonna I was gonna just uh, not not overly talk about it, but talk a little bit about what we did this weekend. That's gonna be in our state of the network, right? Yes. Sounds good. Yes. Before we go into closing time, let's stop for clothing time. Go to Facebook.com slash Any Weather Clothing Co. That's the letters N-E Weather Clothing Co. Or you can go to AnyWeatherClothingCo.com. Check out the Facebook store, Facebook.com slash Any Weather Clothing Co. Go in the shop. You can find exclusive BS Nerds merchandise there, a hat and a t-shirt as of right now, with much more to come. Also, check out the other clothes he has. He also has a retro throwback shirt. He's got something for Foxwoods now. And he also has his own brand going. Go to anyweatherclothingco.com or facebook.com slash anyweatherclothingco and use the exclusive BS Nerds discount code, which is the letters B-S-N-E-R-D-S and then the number 17. That's BS Nerds 17, and you have to capitalize the BSN. So that's capital B, capital S, capital N, E-R-D-S 17. All right, Aaron, I'm going to let you do it. This is kind of kind of your event. Okay, so over the weekend, we went to the Constitution State Wrestling Show, uh, hosted by Nat Peterson. Uh, he allowed us to have a table set up, try to raise some money for the Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Connecticut. Uh, we raised a decent amount of money. We sold glasses. Uh, like drinking mugs. glasses. Yes, not, drinking not glasses. Like optical lenses. Mugs. Uh, oh, shit. What else? Um, ornaments with our Fucking with our glass with our uh, logos on it. WECP, uh, BSN, uh, and also Constitution State Wrestling logo on it. Sold some of those. Gave Nat a couple. Um, got to meet uh, and speak to Adam Rose. Formerly of the WWE, uh, got to speak to some of the the big names at the show. Some of the, some of the big dogs. Some of the we got to talk to some of the wrestlers after the show and uh, hand out some cards. And uh, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be having a couple of these uh, local wrestlers on our show. Yeah. Um, might be a big big get for this week coming up. <laughs> might be a special guest. A man that I have called out, he uh, did not big time me at the show. He proceeded to uh, be very humble and happy. We uh, Dave made buff dad section signs, <laughs> and when he came to the ring, uh, Dave's buddy John was there. Yep. Uh, he instantly threw a sign up. We ran over, stood next to him, held up our signs. Uh and then proceeded to hug the man. Yeah, the he myth, the legend, drive-by, little drive-by hug. The myth, the legend, the legend. Yeah, Buff Dad and Too Buff. Uh, Too Buff was actually very uh, um, funny and witty after the show. We got to speak to him for a little bit, and uh, Jerry has been in contact with Too Buff, and hopefully we'll be able to get him on this week's episode of WECP. If you do, if you finalize that i will be on that episode yeah i think you have some serious questions for buff dad and (laughs) i have have a lot to learn (laughs) i'm really interested and um we just want to say a big thank you to uh nat peterson for all the hard work he does stressing stressing all the way just to make a great show for you know a bunch of local wrestling fans he cares about his shit he puts together a good show. He's pursuing a dream. Is you know, like being able to organize and put on 
a wrestling show with former WWE people, the wrestlers there and stuff. It's just an incredible thing when you really think about it. Like, when you step outside of, like, oh, we went to a wrestling show. Like, well, who did it? Who put it together? Who contacted You know what I mean? Like, there's so much work behind the scenes that it's just incredible. Nat does a great job. The shows are always really entertaining. Uh, the weather... You know, did kinda, not kinda did not help. Got in the way this week, and it's too bad. It's like the first real snowstorm, of, you know, for for Connecticut. And this it year. wasn't even a real snowstorm, right? No, it, it was fucking maybe two inches. Yeah, and it's just frustrating. But yeah, no. Also, like if I can piggyback on your sentiments to him, that thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to raise some money for a good charity, kind of and just get the word out there and have a good time. Well, didn't just, we, we? We always joked like. Oh man, wouldn't it be cool to like be a part of a wrestling show? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like just be there, be productive, and be there doing something right. in some capacity. Right. Yeah, mean, Aaron said it to me like, "Oh, it'd be cool if like next time we do a show, we'd be able to kind of do an event." Because like I, I talked about, I think it was the last week, two weeks ago, yeah. I did the one in Miami. He said, "Aaron yeah. said it'd be cool if we got to do something in Nats thing," and I was like, "It would be." I'll ask him, and then <laughs> you know what I mean? so that, and I asked him, and he was cool with it. So. Uh, going back to Dave, Dave speaks of the four guidelines of how to how to create content. Rule number two: just ask, always ask. And and Nat was a really good sport, and had us on, and um, or had us, you know, had us be there. Yeah. And uh, he's going to be on. Uh, I spoke to him recently, in the past couple days, and uh, after the new year, finalized some things with him. Have him come on. That's great. And pick his brain about how. How's that stuff come up? How? Yeah. Like that's the big question. How? How did? How did you do this? Right. So we'll see. You know, I'm it was it was fun. I had a lot of fucking fun. I um, I lost my vo- my voice for <laughs> a good six to seven hours. Um, started to g- yeah, a lot of screaming. A lot of, screaming. Uh, a lot of the wrestlers after the match when I was like, hey guys, just want to let you know, put on a great show. I was the one booing you mm-hmm. hardcore. Oh, you guys were over the table, right? Yeah, yeah that was us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. What about that? What was that guy? Uh, was it Alex Gordon or something? The the uh, first guy? And oh, was, no. Uh, all all good. Um, yeah, something like the, that. Yeah, all yeah. good something. Yeah, all good. I, uh, yeah, whatever it was. Um, I started trying to get a chant going. He was like, yeah, all one of you. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> well, like, oh, all right. So, what, so like, what is on the back of their shirts? On the back of whose shirts? Buff Dad and Two Buffs that oh, you were eat, chanting. Yeah, eat, sleep, swivel, repeat. Uh, it, it was amazing. They, they, Dave was screaming that hip, for swivel, a good yeah. two minutes straight. That was great. Yeah, eat, sleep, swivel, repeat. Well, <laughs> hip, hip swivel. Buff Dad bought in. He started tapping the mat <laughs> to it, like to the rhythm, like eat, sleep, swivel, repeat, <laughs> eat, sleep, and uh, that got going a little bit. <laughs> but I would say Buff Dale was more into it than anyone else in the crowd. Anthony but Green. Anthony Green. That's All good guy. Anthony Green. All good Anthony Green, that guy. He, he was, was uh, kind, of a, kind of a weirdo. Yeah, he was um, a guy. He was doing <laughs> a... Uh, cut my promo on him. <laughs> yeah. No, he was a... Uh, he had uh, was a Toys for Tots. Well... No, no, no. We, he's, gave, we gave him a well, Toys for Tots. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> at every other show, he came... He came ready. Right. But at our show, yeah. he proceeded to borrow one of our boxes and write on But he did get like five or six toys. Stuff, like yeah, he did yeah. get stuff to take home. I think that was a Brutal Bob Evans probably donated. Some yeah, of he stuff did. Do- yeah. yeah. And he, he seemed like he was a good sport. It looked like he was training some of those guys. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. uh-huh. after the matches, he would like give them a look and they would not. Like I think it was. Mm-hmm. That was good. That was. We got some to talk about right, afterwards right. or whatever. Yeah. Who was the kid that that uh, Anthony Green was fighting? The, um, Westgate. Westgate. That's what uh, I was chanting. Westgate. Nick Westgate. Westgate. Yeah, Westgate was and, good. Yeah, He's yeah. good. He really is. I like Westgate a lot. Yeah. No, it's a good show. It's always a good show. Um, I'm pumped to have two buff, buff and dad. buff dad. Like I, I think I, the Nat one is as much as I really want to. Talk no, no, about no. That, I just buff. think like bo- all that is exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm looking looking forward to that. I I'm gonna try to reach out. I reached out. I'm I. Uh, I'm following him on Instagram. I'm gonna see if I can stalk him enough. Uh, get a high class rich bass on. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. him on there. The the he, the heel manager of the night. Yeah, he's uh, this guy's. Uh, this guy. Real good. He's he's really he's, good. he's good at what he does. Yeah. And he. You'll hate his fucking guts. And and he took so out good. Buff Dad with was, a clipboard. Yeah, shattered. Like yeah, clipboard, clipboard shattered went over flying in a million pieces. <laughs> yeah. Exploded. Dude. Yeah. That was a tough bump. But um, <laughs> they. Uh, yeah, he was good. I it was think, a fun show, and um, and I just want to say this: 
If you don't go, if this man puts on another show, yeah, you're you stupid go. for not going, right? Because it's cheap, right? I don't want to say that it's affordable, right? Because I always harp on that the mm-hmm. cost of of going, right, right. It's like they're they're the people that do the vending for like hot dogs and and, right. and drinks and chips. It's a dollar a hot dog, dollar a drink, sink, a right. drink dollar yeah. a bag of chips, right. You can't five get that. Bucks, any, yeah, you can't get that get Two anywhere. hot dogs, two sodas, and a, and a bag of chips. Yeah, whatever. and you're yeah. done. Four hot dogs and a soda. Four hot dogs. Yeah. Or four touchdowns, three drop kicks, get you 31 points, something like that. Yeah, anyway. It's 32 points. 32 or points five hot dogs. Yeah. Five hot, it gets you five dogs if you want yeah. to just go for Yeah, no, but I'm dogs. just saying it's 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 a great time. <laughs> And the money goes to uh, the local schools, PTO. Yeah, it's stuff, it's so. not – you're not going there – with the intent of like, hey man, like we're gonna go out and we're gonna spend a hundred dollars to go oh. watch WWE for the nosebleed section. Right. No, you're gonna sit ten feet away from the ring for ten dollars. You could also got yourself an Outback Steakhouse gift card, twenty dollars worth for ten bucks, and you missed out on that opportunity. And you could got yourself a Bray Wyatt figure for five dollars. Some little kid ripped it wide ripped open. it wide open, wide open, and is playing with that toy somewhere ravagely, just like thanks. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's good. Kids, kids play with toys. Uh, we want a couple. What? We want. A, we want a couple of raffles. That's my new water's wet. <laughs> we. Kids uh, play with toys. I think we won what three raffles? Uh, you won three. I, I won two. You won two, and I won one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, a lot of people thought the fix was in. <laughs> the, <laughs> really the, sketchy the B, situation. The BS nerds came in hot. Yeah, came in yeah, hot. A lot people. of a lot of people didn't love it. First, great. So we got no fans out of this. So oh nerds. no, we did. We no, had we like I want to say there was at least two or three guys that came up, gave them our card, and instantly grabbed their phone and started flipping through. They're like, showed us yeah, their subscri- yeah, like, like subscribe I'm subscribed or... to like five or six different wrestling shows, right. and I was like, you should go to ours, and then if you you know obviously subscribe to our page, right. And if you don't like the other ones, delete them. Yeah, just but just them. download ours I mean, and listen, listen to it. But listen. <laughs> just but download like, them and then delete them. Hit play Wait. and then delete them. You just told them to delete our shit. <laughs> ben is going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm no, just we, saying. Uh, um, the guy was – there was know, one guy. Making, I've been making the Ben field goal joke. I've never once brought that up on the podcast. <laughs> on your show? Yeah. <laughs> That's like true. that is not a joke on you the, should you it's should only do, a joke on here it's not a joke like your final episode of the season as, like eyes on Ben Fogel like I want to thank Joe for you should get like old timey the Jewish like, you, yeah get the old timey like when you when you talk and up to the belly yeah yeah plate 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 you know how it like <laughs> echoes when they used to do the old school yeah. yeah yeah that's how you should announce the whole show but uh yeah no you guys did great. Um, you spread the word a lot. Oh yeah, but but the raffles real quick. So like first raffle, Aaron's like, I'm the only one that put a ticket in. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, so you win. And then they're like they read the number. Aaron's like, I won. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So then he runs over, he gets it. Liz Reed, friend of the show, yeah, yeah. passed him popcorn, donated a couple photos. She does uh, photography on the side. Um, <laughs> so someone that gave us money that bought something from us wins. No, the guy the, the, with the, the guy the guy with the phone. Right? Yeah. Then the lady that was running the hot dog vendor, oh, she wins. Yeah. She and then over. who is it? The other lady uh that the she bought the, the, haircuttery the, the stuff. haircuttery stuff. She wins. Aaron wins. I'm like, so far, everyone that's put money into our pocket or like into our jar here is winning. Right? Like you, and so, including so ourselves. So we're yeah, like us included. So me and Jerry like we're all kinda of yelling, like, Y'all missed out. Like just like <laughs> you, did, you did this to yourselves. So then uh Another person wins. And then it's like someone that we don't know, whatever the wins or whatever, or we didn't meet. And then I win. And then, because I get the tickets for the. Or the, no, the I want to say everyone that won. There's some from person us. in between that I don't know. No, I, I thought it was I the grandma that was the only one that didn't buy anything from us. That could Nat's be true. grandmother might yeah. have been the only one. Because I think that's the, true. Yeah, she was right. the only one that did. Yeah, because she Elvis won bought. too? She won too. Yeah. So, yeah, Collusion. so here's where the fix That's is, where he Here's where the fix gets in, right? So a lot of people are thinking, we have a merchandise table. We're selling stuff. They're putting on this show. Everyone thinks that we're kind of like working together in some element. Yeah. We win a bunch of the raffle stuff. He wins two things. I win a thing or whatever. So they're like, what the fuck? And then the announcer's child, who's a part of the show, yeah. like he's always a big Elvis. Part of the show. Elvis, the most over guy in the room, wins two, the, be- the best prize, two autographed figures, right? Yeah. By the rest Still in the package. Still in the package. Good to go, right? He wins that. We're like, huh. 
Huh, weird. The 50-50 raffle, right? Winner of the 50-50 raffle gets half the money that yeah, was put yeah, in the yeah. jar, right? Nat's mom. Or grandma. 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 Huh. So then it was like, is that how she gets paid? I had is genuinely feel... I like, know, I genuinely feel no, like I we're the just, ones that were all like, we're all in. Right, right. Huh? We're putting money into this. Yeah. We're in it. No, and, and if, if so... Cares, you know what I mean? Like it's whatever. No, it no, was it's a, it's a fair raffle. They it, they pull the they pull the tickets right out in front of everybody and stuff. It's it's legit. it's the cold ticket, the cold, <laughs> the frozen envelope. Yeah, it's the a frozen, frozen ticket. Envelope, the frozen envelope rule. I like it. No, it was, it was good. And and I think she didn't win the fifty fifty last year. No, so you no. Know what I mean, like they're going that. Yeah, and the promotion guy, I think he won the autographed uh, Rick Ric Flair, Flair last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Interesting. So there's a different not. But no, the he's not a promotion he, for, for this. Uh, no, he, he was the guy that for, brought Adam Rose. Yeah, he drove him down. He talked uh, to us for a long time. Yeah, we were talking to him. He said, like, he another guy that's just, like, got into it because my kids love it. Like, I right. like, he goes, I like wrestling, but, like, I don't want to do this. He goes, but my kids love it, and they want to meet their favorite wrestlers. So now I do promotions where I literally go and pay guys, and I help them do their travel. Right, right. Around New England right. doing signings. I absolutely, for the record, don't think there was. And obviously, we weren't a part of any fakes. But it just was funny. Like, the people, you could kind of see, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, well, right. Well, it, like, oh, yeah. right. it also didn't help that we were the people that spent money with us were right. the only ones spending money everywhere else. Right, of course. Yeah, yeah, So right. yeah. if you come there and don't spend any money, you're not, not going to win. win anything. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything that had, like, maybe, like, four tickets, five yeah. tickets in it. We were there, there, to, we like, were there, like we were there to make money for... Charity. Uh, for charity. <laughs> we I brought my own cash with me. Yep. And I went right into the jar, took it no, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Well we had a good time. Yeah, I, I had a great time. I uh, no Jerry did. Yep. No, you guys did a He's good job. super I think pumped a- that he got a fucking text message from two buff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and I think uh there might be another gentleman named Todd Harris. 19 year old wrestler. Might get him on in a couple weeks. He's good. He's got a good shtick. Yeah. So we're uh we're pretty the moving we're, we're, yeah, I think we're on a good direction. Yeah. No, I was going to say that from being there to try and help organize like the whole thing or yeah. whatever, you guys did a really good job of plugging your shit and having good conversations and moving things forward Like as far as being able to open up relationships and network and you know what I mean. So I think that's a really good step for that show. I'm proud of that. Uh, for me, for closing time, State of the Network, I – Four gone. I have four gone. Dave speaks for this week. So busy all week. Oh, uh, yeah. Getting ready Saturday. for the event Saturday, which is when I normally record. I was booked doing all that stuff. So he, I missed that. But I'm going to do a doubleheader next week. Yeah. Two I episodes. Mean, to be fair, this man made his girlfriend quit her job, put her in the basement, tied yeah. her to, the, to one of the pipes down there, and yeah. made her the hot one. make the glasses. The hot water one, yeah. And these ornaments. And these ornaments. Now she did a great job. She, she did, did really awesome, Carolyn. Thank you very much. We got more, more to come. It. More to come too. A couple of different things in the works. A couple so ideas. We'll a couple ideas in the works. Yeah. So we'll see what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I have foregone the episode this week. But you will be tuning into a doubleheader next week. There'll be two episodes out next Sunday. Uh, WECP. And yeah, WECP this Sunday. And this then, Sunday coming and up. Two episodes from me the following Sunday. Okay. You check that out. One will be an Eminem album review. Nice. So, um, I it's funny we talked a lot about how WCP is kicking ass, and then me and Dave were like, yeah, we suck. <laughs> we just we did. Uh, to be yeah. fair, he was, put all the work into like making the 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 table and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I get it. Yeah, Joe. What's your excuse? What the fuck is your excuse? (laughs) Listen. I already won that argument. What is your excuse? Uh, I question that you won that. Um, You won the soundbite of the year. I won the argument. Um, uh, It's been, mine is just uh, dumb life shit. It's just kind of shitty. Get on the way. Uh, It's been really busy at work. Holiday shit. Uh, People getting their orders in before end of the year. Yeah, yeah. So... (laughs) <laughs> yesterday my normal recording day monday so that everyone can get their fucking waiver wire shit in and i got out of work late and i came home and i did about one normal household thing i needed to do and then i realized that the pats were playing 
on Monday. Right. And it was right in the middle of when I record. Should have yeah. skipped it. Should have skipped the I game. I ended up just... staying up until Ugh. I watched the whole game. Yeah. So See, I fell asleep halfway through. I didn't See, I watched halfway I don't think into I went, the fourth I don't think I went to went bed until like 1. Yeah. And then I woke up for 5 a.m. It's so one day. day. I'm once again. What's your excuse, Joe? So I'm. What is your excuse? So He's like, I just I'm, I'm gave. Just, I'm one. telling you. I'm trying to tell you. It's not a good one, but it is my. So, the same thing kind yeah. of fits here. So yeah. there's no Joe's fantasy field goal this week. I'll post something. It's only the first week of the playoffs. Not that it's important uh, or anything. You guys Again. got it. Um, <laughs> so. You don't need my advice. No, we're good. Uh, I will post streamers and. You leaking any any peek behind the curtain to what might be coming after Joe's fantasy field goal? Or are you just not sure yet? You don't want to. You don't want to throw that out I'm there. leaning towards the idea, the most recent idea, mm-hmm. pretty hard. Yeah. Okay. Real hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fried glicken. Maybe we work something out for your uh, one of your double headers. Okay. As like a oh. announcement slash yeah. co yeah. podcast. We could do something like that. Similar vein. Yeah. Yeah. So. That might work. There is an announcement to come for the 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 follow up to yeah. Joe's fantasy field goal. Ben field goal will, you know, obviously after the Ooh, football season. He's actually going on a uh a pilgrimage <laughs> to study more of his Jewish faith. What did you say before that you said like you you sent him off somewhere before? I have? Yeah. It's only a joke on this show. It's not even when a you, joke. When you, when Joe's you missed an episode goal. before, you're like, oh, well, you know what? Actually, I sent him off to do this or yep, whatever. Yep. Yeah, ben was yeah, on vacation. Or yeah. yeah. So, All right. I thought uh, it was an assignment. There was a was like assignment or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, we can just shut the – we can We can log <laughs> off. It's okay. Just – we'll talk about it. We got nothing. We got nothing. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Oh.